The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You sound like a very wonderful human being yourself, probably as beautiful as an early autumn pomegranate wine. <laughs> you see, baby, I don't do this just for the recognition. I do it for the children. <laughs> New job on. The children. Bounce them on their knees. Bounce them on the knee and then I sing a melody. <laughs> Some Barnett man. Gotta go watch this again. No, Gang is all here yes, on sir. time too. That tardy shit is out the window. <laughs> Niggas is here looking good, smelling good, focused, prepped, and ready to work. I know it looks like fun when we sit here. We make it look fun. But we're here to get the job done, huh? Shout mm -hmm. out to Big Daddy Kane while we at it. Uh, shout out to all of y'all listening. We couldn't do this without y'all. Gang is all here. Mel is here. Flip is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Parks is here. Poets here. Corey is here. Vern's here. Junior is here somewhere, hopefully. He's back there, yeah. All right, good. Uh, Erickson is here. Keeb is here. Ian is here. I don't know why these two niggas keep coming. But <laughs> gang is all here. Happy to see you. Happy to have everyone. How's everyone doing? Feeling? What's ha up? I feel excellent, man. Straight. Happy yeah, Friday. Good. good. Word. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Oh, well, right. Sorry, yeah. my bad. We good. <laughs> Getting the dates it. confused. <laughs> we good. Getting well, the dates Sunday, confused. The YouTubers. Hmm? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, feel good. good. We feel yeah. good, man. Wake there up. We there we go. There we go. Hey, listen. Listen. Yeah, back listen. In here. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. hey, hey. Huh? Hey, Mr. Tight Ship, huh? He was back. <laughs> this nigga, he came here dressed all professional like a fucking fashion over model because he came here about work. Shout out to the new YouTube monetization <laughs> rules that say not to me. Like I, broke, I broke him early. Yeah. I broke him early. This man was not playing. If you thought Tuesday, even Wednesday when I came, he did not. He knows how to drag the ship. And he did. Welcome. You look Drag good. Drag the ship. You did. Drag the ship. Drag the Titanic. Oh, easy. It's still <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> it's eroding. The Listen, Titanic is still on the ground. I want to let there. the audience know that I, Joseph Anthony Button Jr., don't want problems with anybody. Not Flip, not Ish, Ice. My co host may try to provoke me for the sake of content. <laughs> I'm here to let you know. Yo, hold up. I'm not, I'm not rolling. Shout today. out to Mel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm no, not, no, 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 I'm no, no, not no, rolling no. today. Just so I'm clear with what you just said, the co host may try to provoke you for content. Yeah. That's hilarious. That, okay. I'm glad I'm Why is that one. hilarious? Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful. I think Flip does that a lot. Me? Oh, yes. And he is a yes, co host. That is a for show sure right which on. We make my no. statement true unless, it does. unless the rest of you would like to personalize it. It does. And make it apply to you guys. <laughs> it don't apply to it don't But, but it's oh, hypocrisy because we was told, I was just told on Wednesday not to personalize anything. And then now, Mel, you co sign it. Come on. Let's get on the same page, Mel. You left a good stain. No, no, no. You know what? That's the other thing that I thought me. of after the last part. I'm a little sick of his fifth and sixth, seventh wall, eighth wall, ninth, oh, tenth easy. wall, eleventh wall. Art. I'm a little sick of it. I am. And I'm going to talk to Art about it. Maybe he can't stop Later. that. Later. He can't stop that. Yo, Flip, I see why they kicked you off Uber, though. After yeah, them yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have suspended they you, They tried too. to sue me. I, I would have. I would have suspended you, you too. And I'm going to do it again. You should. I'm back. For the audience uh, that doesn't know, Flip used to drive an Uber and act really... Pretend to drive an Uber after going viral. Don't say I used to. I pretended. Well, you drove the Uber. No disrespect to the Uber people. You're my worst nightmare, and somehow you <laughs> landed a spot right in here and a job here. Like, that guy that does just that anything for clout. I've seen you now embarrass your wife in the shower. I've seen, I've seen you uh, fight kids. 
I have. I've seen you do this wild Uber shit. I've seen you in a house full of hard workers. I have. You do a lot light for Light himself content. on fire. I did. I've seen you light yourself on fire. Something I regret. And somehow you got the game. And then the next day I had a fight with Ebro after I had the third degree burn. Then you had a fight. <laughs> Wait, you actually burnt yourself? I lit my pants on fire to Jim Jones' song. And, and I, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, for our really sophisticated <laughs> audience out there, uh, I want to thank you guys for joining, viewing. Subscribe to the Patreon if you really enjoy what you see and hear here today. If you're on YouTube, hit that little subscribe button right there. Mm -hmm. I hate there you when go. There you yeah. go. No, I hate when people, I hate, yeah, yeah. I hate I hate people do that. And hit the one right there. Oh, too. I hate what they fucking <laughs> do. It. Fuck you, Hit button, the man. subscribe button. Now, no. <laughs> Word. I, I, I was going to subscribe. I like like your shit, but no now. No, <laughs> now, now, now you make me feel way about it. You look it. sharp today, though, man. Definitely not. Thank you. That was a long-winded way of saying, Joe, you look all right today. Thank you. It I wasn't born it. within, but you look sharp. Thank you. Maybe. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Were you actually employed by Uber? Do you think Uber would? Well, if you saw the doc, then yeah. <laughs> I took somebody else's account and pretended to be an Uber driver. This no wonder they wanted uh, to fucking okay. sue you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I sued the shit out of you. Well, uh, I'm going to they, bring the I'm going to bring the plaque next week of the letter that they sent me. <laughs> I got it printed. I got it. I got it in my house. I think it's beautiful. Yo. And then I tried to do it in London too. Oh, I did it man. twice, but then I got in trouble at the airport. <laughs> then I got banned from St. Lucia. I can't believe the Me Too movement let Uber get off the ground. Yo. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I heard about that. Y'all y'all come for everybody cousins. <laughs> y'all y'all come for the people y'all supposed to go get. Word. <laughs> Talk about a toxic work environment. They be creeps in the. They was going crazy in Uber. Y'all seen Uber Doc? No. <laughs> what, no, but I know, I know women. <laughs> they got a documentary about Uber. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's uh. Yo, you, I think you may have left your keys. You want to go on a date? Really? <laughs> yeah, they be wild. But how do they get the? How do they get the? Um, the I'd be scared to be a girl in the workplace. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, it's got to be a the, girl. Period. Today the they can't do shit. That shit is fucked up. You see the video of the girl in the gym. In a building, open the oh, yeah, door yeah, because yeah, the dude. That, that was that bro, was nasty. Like, I didn't see the video. Explain. That was nasty. She's in the gym by herself. Early morning. Early, early in the morning. Oh, why she do that? <laughs> why she can't do it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> hey, no, funny question. But I'm joking. No, no, no. Stop. Don't That's elaborate. Stop. Dang, I'm not laughing. Joke, I'm joking, I'm joking. Why I look like I'm laughing? Don't elaborate on that. <laughs> Just go ahead, bro. No, but what I'm saying is that is when they need to go now because of these niggas. Oh, all right, yeah, that's, that's true. true. These that's be, what I'm talking about. Now true. you what see the stupid, you see the videos. I was sick. That was sick. What he did to her. That was sick. So yeah, what dude, a dude um came up to the door like like I guess like he act like he lived there or something needed to get in the building. She let him in and he started following her around trying to pin her down. Mm -hmm. She, she fought was wrestling. Him off. In there. Yeah, she really had to get up out of there. Yeah. I encourage all all women out there to have some form of protection. If you travel uh, mass mass transportation, the public, the train train system, the buses, uh, Ubers, just anywhere, U Ubers coming home from work, mm -hmm. coming home from the kids at school, just women, please, please, because these niggas ain't what shit was, out here. What would you suggest that they carry? Some mace, some mace and a poker. Some mace, yeah, something. Uh, yeah. Well, first check on the laws where you uh, live. Yeah, right. yeah, and, there you go, and, very good. And, 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 in New York, it would be a taser or pepper above spray. a certain wattage is against the law. Uh, but I don't know what that is. Google it in New York. In Houston, oh, yeah, I sent mine right to the gun store. <laughs> no, 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 Houston, I'm going to lay you down. Holler at that black nigga. Is it still that, the four that, fingers that, of the knife? Know the guns. Your knife can't pass your four fingers? Hey, yo, still dog, there? I'll deal with the law later. Yeah, Ooh. like be alive. I'll tell mine to deal with the law later. Be alive. Okay. Carry a no. poker, carry a, a little something to get them up off you. Anything. No. They got 380s to fit in the palm of your hand. No, right? no. Off. Listen, we, we unpacked it. Thank you, John Wick. Stop. It's a song about a pool. All John right, Wick. come on. What do y'all? What do y'all want to begin today? I, I got. There's a lot to talk about today. Somehow, and I'm gonna tell the truth about a few niggas. A few of them I like. Why don't you just start it off with that? You're always doing that and then come back to it. Because it's not this. This is not big enough to open with. Say so no more. So open up. But we, I, we but I am you. going to get back. Right, we wait, to I, and I'm going to hold you to that. On sir. the music shit. Uh, I, let's have fun. Let's have fun. There is music to get to at some point. R. Kelly. That, no. That, that's, <laughs> not, that's, that's not fun. I said fun. fun. And you immediately <laughs> got the R. Kelly, <laughs> Harvey it's Weinstein. It's not. It's not. I it's not. It's not. It's not. I bought. I bought seven movie tickets this morning. For, hey, cocaine, for cocaine bear? Mm, Three tonight for cocaine bear. I'm going. That's, I'm going I'm tonight. Go yeah, me too. Cocaine I'm bear tonight. And next week, 
I bought the Creed three tickets, four tickets. Just something, get these things off of me, man. Some elbow room. Yeah, mm. yeah. So yeah, seven movie tickets. I can't believe that I'm going to watch something called Cocaine Bear. It's not an ad. I know it sound like one. Y'all swear I'm getting money. I'm not. I'm going but to I'm going to go Bear. watch it. And I heard Tonight. it was fire. <laughs> yeah. And I heard it was fire. And I saw a rumor. I don't know how true it is. But if it's true, even if it's not, I want it to be true. That they talk about so Ant Man's in it? Nah, expanding, <laughs> making a universe out of it. So now, oh, a cocaine bear universe? I'm in there. Get yeah, Sharknado, Adderall, Adderall alligator. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> this decade's a spoof. Let's yo. go. Everything hey, is stupid. Let's Run do it. it. I like it. I love it. I love it. Okay, can give give me some backstory on cocaine bear because I, I some smugglers. There's some, a cocaine some coke and dropped some in the woods, and a bear got to it. It's a true story. Inspired by a true story. Yes. Got it. The bear is zooted. The bear is zooted. The bear opened up the bird. No, the birds. Zooted and booted. <laughs> the, the bear opened up the keys and really got, got high and started yeah. wilding out. Started talking, wilding. talking too much. <laughs> I cannot. You don't understand. Like I've been. I can't. Is it, wait. Is it in theaters? Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I think, and they're getting my money. I think I want to go. Three tickets. Yeah. I always oh, get you, three you when I go come by with myself. me. Oh, the other two tickets is our children tickets tonight. She's short. I, I yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I could, I could put on work, my right? Canada Goose oh, and hoodie. Right, you know, they don't actually look uh, like... No, my perfect honey. spot for a male age joke that I'm skipping, audience. <laughs> <laughs> perfect spot for age joke that I'm skipping. <laughs> Thank you. Not a male tribe So you bought here. seven tickets for who? <laughs> Me. Four for he Creed. four and three. And three for Cocaine Bear oh, tonight. But, okay. Is it for tonight or just this weekend? Oh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nah, when you They're go just by purchased. yourself, when you go by yourself, you buy three tickets. Uh, so listen, off of our Jonathan Major, off of our, he don't get it. He's poor. I'm poor. <laughs> well, the movie nah, my I mom sent my mom sent me a text about you this week. Uh oh. Okay. And who's poor, nigga? And it didn't say that you was you, and it didn't say that you was poor. What did it say? I don't know if I want to snitch on my mom. She listens. About to turn up, she y'all. said, "Ice looking." She said, "Ice looking better with all that money." Oh, what money? I, I didn't ask her. <laughs> I didn't no, ask I'm her. not that bad. I'm gonna call your mother. Her. I gotta know what not money. The feds listening. <laughs> <laughs> what money? <laughs> you got it, okay. bro. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm okay. sorry. All right, listen, Jonathan Majors. Off of our Jonathan Majors fight, y'all got me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I do not like talking about. They, hey, from now on, because there's so many mics here, when y'all start talking about some shit that I don't know nothing about, I need a noise. <laughs> I need some type of ding, ding. Because I just start letting y'all cook, and then I go get flamed. I've been getting flamed since the last part. <laughs> but Jonathan Majors is in Creed 3. If he's a superstar, y'all say it, he better win. <laughs> he's not going to win. Come on, you know he's not going to win. He better win. Yeah, he better beat the nigga and, that and shot that shot the superstardom by saying hi to his aunt. And he won't be in Creed 4. <laughs> I feel like Jonathan Major's role in Creed 3 is going to be kind of like um, Dolph Lundgren, like the Russian mm-hmm. in like Rocky. Like that's that's the, the energy that I get from his role okay. in this. So he's not going to win. Who's the better actor, Jonathan Major or Michael B. Jordan? Jonathan Major. Jonathan Jonathan Major. Who's Major. the better actor? Jonathan Major. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Michael B. Jordan or Tasha from Power? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> Yo, it's Tasha. <laughs> All right, Michael That's B. Jordan name. or Lala from Power? Yo, <laughs> gotta chill. Yo, why you do all that? Because he see you, he's going to check you. Stop. He won't see me. I'll be home. <laughs> no, he's going to see you. I don't go to Rock Nation. <laughs> they, Rock they be looking for you on the law. He's in Jersey, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they be yellow, looking he, for he you in Jersey. He right out here. They well, be looking for but you. But why you can't diss a nigga and support him? You're not supporting him. You I didn't support him. I'm going Lala. to the movie. four tickets. I bought four tickets to the movie. I had to do support it. You said Lala or him. Who's better? Who do you who's think is the better? better actor? Who? To you. It's Michael, a, Michael it's a toss B. Up. <laughs> it's a toss-up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go Michael It's a toss-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to hold you. So when Lala Lala's got... hard working, though. I'll like, give you that. She's fine. She's shows. Chill out. See, now, now y'all make me want to ask some questions, but they friends, so I ain't going to do it to y'all. La, 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 la. Oh, my God. Hello? Lala or Monet? I'm happy. Monet, who's Monet? Don't worry about it. Do I know her? Mm-hmm. Monet, don't worry about it. Just no. <laughs> yo, no disrespect. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Grammy nominated. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No disrespect. Uh, well, anyway, speaking of uh, Black Panther and Michael B. Jordan loving his aunt, or not loving <laughs> his aunt, whatever. The, Hi, auntie. What was that stupid shit? Hey, auntie. Hey, I can't believe us. We so gullible. <laughs> Hey, on. Nah, it was the other shit. The, the, the bury me in the ocean with my ancestors. That line, that's what got him. 
I'm gonna go watch Fruitvale Station no, again. Good luck. But I'm, it's gonna be never. Michael. I'm gonna make sure it's Michael B. Jordan this time. Never. They got me with the true story last night. No. Never. <laughs> never watching that shit. <laughs> Listen, Rihanna's no, performing no. at the Oscars. Let's start there because mm-hmm. that should be nice and fast. So she's nominated too. Of course, first song, oh, yeah, song "Lift Me Up." The, yeah. Of course, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, she is hustling, boy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they getting hustled. Yeah, who getting hustled? These black artists that's falling. No, down. the Oscars took one look at uh, the numbers and how many people tuned in to the Super Bowl in the mm-hmm. first half just to watch her, and they were like, "Our numbers have been declining." So, Miss Riri, would you do us the honors mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. singing the song that you are nominated for? Of course, of course. Yeah. Shout out to Rihanna. Yeah. Black, well, I black, urge black people don't watch the Oscars. I urge America to please get your favorite comforter and pillow out. <laughs> uh, get you a little nighttime snack ready. <laughs> snooze fest. They air put, all the awards. She's she gonna put you right to bed with that fucking <laughs> snooze bullshit. Uh, the song? You don't like the song? No. No. I don't. I know. I'm going to take a step further. I like that song. Are you the first person? I was going to say, I'm going to take a step further. I haven't heard anyone say they like the song. I do. You're the first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think people were so excited that re- she was going to release some new music that they were just like down for whatever. And I'm like, I was underwhelmed. No, they thought she was repping for us because they thought that uh, the movie was going to be repping for us. But mm-hmm. once uh, Ramondo came out, once Razor, Razor <laughs> yeah. Ramon came out, it's like, all right, Rihanna's repping for the wrong wrong people here. Rest in peace, Scott Hall. Yes, rest in peace to Razor Ramon. Rest in peace. There you go. There you go. Man, your arms are short as hell, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I forget it. Can't even dap this. Oh, uh, God yeah, damn, yeah, your nigga. back hurt. Your back hurt. Stop doing all that stuff. Yo, why are your arms so? You are just stunting. You going to jail? <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Rihanna. Shout out to the Oscars. Good luck. I'm not watching that shit. Also, the Oscars has. You are a liar. You are going to watch it. I'm not watching the Oscars. You're not going to watch the Oscars. Am I a SAG member and I don't know it? Who the hell want? No. I am so watching. No. Oh, we know. Yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am we know. so we know. watching. Text me, text me the cliff notes. I will. I will, absolutely. Also, the Oscars are, are said to have a crisis management team for the first time. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. Me, they felt like um, how they handled the slap was Yo. not to... The you fact know, that it's known as the quote unquote the slap, the slap is yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah, that way they feel like the way that they handled it was not up to snuff because it was like, what snuff, the fuck snuff. do you do? I see do? what you did there. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Good job. Good pun. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what the fuck do you do when like one of the biggest stars in the world gets up on the stage and slaps the shit out of the host? Like there is no, um, okay, let's, let's go to the manual. There was nothing. This is the most yeah. press that the Oscars got in 20 years. I don't know why. Do you they're think tripping. that they will have yeah. slap jokes? In hip hop, we They just want somebody to slap somebody else. Yeah. Do it again. No. In hip hop, you do what? We just call the Prince family. <laughs> 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 See, we're I, doing I, I, they, I'm, I'm not doing it. They just call Lil Boosie somebody. <laughs> Yo. Oh, who's the crisis management team? They had Denzel and Chris and uh, Denzel and them under pressure last <laughs> last year. Yo, do something. It was so fucked up. They were supposed to be on commercial, but I, I I was looking at Denzel on the sideline. Denzel and Samuel L. Jackson. That was their crisis management at the time. Uh, but dog, honestly, how would they have prevented that? When he jumped on the stage, they would have rushed him. Uh, tape delay for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there. Tape delay. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! But they only want the tape delay for that mark. Ain't going. Yeah. You know what? You know it though. For the source awards. Yeah, they need that for us. They do. That's it. Take the lay for anything that we on. The source awards. We can go live for the rest of the source awards was kind of crazy, yo. (laughs) We need all type of delays for that. There's been a lot of mistakes in hip hop. (laughs) <laughs> the world wasn't a mistake. A lot of mistakes. A couple of whoopsies. In hip hop. Whoopsie. All right, yeah. come on. What else is important? Uh, shout out to the Oscars and everyone participating. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Mel. All the members. Shout out to Mel. She will yeah. be watching it and giving I, us cliff notes. Yeah. I'm really excited. Shout out to the pod after that. She is going to bleed y'all with Oscars. <laughs> she is going to bleed y'all. I'm taking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she got it. I'm calling out. I ain't going to hold you. you. Sit right there. Go ahead, Mel Cook. <laughs> Don't listen, don't threaten me with a good fucking time. That is my jam. That is where I thrive. Don't say jam, please. Okay. Please. <laughs> don't I'm a I'ma fuck you up. Okay. All right. Listen, uh, keep it up. So 
<laughs> it was somebody's idea to have six mics. Um, <laughs> I had a question for anybody here that wanted to answer. Okay. No, I'm not calling my ex. <laughs> Good one. He tried us. That, he tried us. No, I was talking about uh, Tyga and uh, Avril Lavigne. Dating. Cher and little homeboy. I wanted to come in and ask y'all. <laughs> hey, when you write, you write. <laughs> I I tried to clown y'all for these old white chicks. But it might be a vibe. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to you now. I, I I don't know Tigger to be wrong a whole lot. If he fucking Avril Levine. Avril Levine still looks like got, a teenager she got though. That vibe. I mean and they and they and they do they, they all freaky. Who well, old white girls? I mean, the older ones, yeah. They were down to try How anything. How would you, could, you know? I mean, you could bend them all. And it's black history. All month. over the place. It is. <laughs> Just tell us about older white women. Acknowledge the white. Uh, yeah. That's opening, <laughs> oh, okay, that's opening their oh. legs. No, 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 no. no. Men, no. Sorry. Hold <laughs> right that. Come on. Get the right time stamp. Yo. Uh, Somebody. Uh, thank you very much. The OGs is putting it on the young men. They are. And they giving you bread. They give you at least 500,000. Oh, like, that's good. What? Wait, that's, how much? Oh, I know about it. I'm it's telling you, I've been around it. Where are you getting this information? Trust me. <laughs> Trust man, me. niggas. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. Huh. The older white established women that deal with a lot of the younger black men, mm -hmm. they are giving them pocket money. Yeah, and pay. the pocket money. Is, like you way. Is, the pocket money is not, it's more like. <laughs> This nigga like a money. down payment yeah, on a yeah, house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. What you said? It's more like your type of money. <laughs> Timestamp something. <laughs> I don't know what the so fuck. So basically, they about. breaking bread. They are. They are five hundred thousand. Right. You got. You good? Oh. I seen it. I seen it for oh. my own self. So, so, so Tiger's with Avril because she's breaking him off. Well, she's fucking him good. You know, and and you know. We yeah, got it. It's it fine. All right. Mind blowing it's, it's the amount okay. of assumptions here. <laughs> See, that's the problem. That's why black people don't need black men don't need podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Who gossips more? <laughs> we do. Yeah. Men, men. <laughs> men, I just men podcasters. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have that up on the board. Yeah. Let me see. Y'all better y listen. Y'all better talk about something because my list is stupid. I got down here. Natalie Nunn still want to fight for some reason. <laughs> Who she fight? I know. Ice told me she's fighting. Uh, Tommy. 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 Oh right, right, right. Today. <laughs> no, they've been fighting all week. No, but I mean, the fight is today. They've been fist fighting all week. Or talk, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy's been busting that little girl outside that all week. Yeah, yeah they've been fighting. From all, I keep saying, fighting. why do Natalie Nunn keep fighting people? Because you can't fight. But anyway, we can move on. It's not important. What do you think for the content? <laughs> COE. 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 Yeah. She'll take the ass whooping for the content. So yep. you think Tommy's going to win tonight? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I can't wait to watch. Your man wrote us a note from jail. Oh, yeah, let's hear it. Pooh Shiesty. Oh, I'm like, my man, I thought you been surf. I'm looking like. Did you see the note? Did no, you I read didn't it? See the, no, I didn't. That's your man. Fans like you. That's not my man. I, I like so, music. I don't know him. You just appropriate just, his, his mask? And say, and say free, to, free to what? 762 God. Oh. What's the note say? All right. King Shiesty tapping in from the middle of the penitentiary, a.k.a. Hell, where they say I can't go. Jailing, no telling. I still remain untouched. Million still in double digits. Tell Google fix my net worth. We can verify that shit right now. Yeah, I'm locked up, not fucked up. I was 21, up eight figures. Jay-Z uh, Jay -Z can't even relate. My money tripled my followers. Stop playing, with, uh, stop playing with my name before I buy one of you for sale ass niggas. You niggas is anything. I put on for this chopper gang shit every day, twice on Sundays. I'm on the same shit from Tokyo to Tennessee. <laughs> Tokyo with an eye. Yeah. Oh. This is a different Tokyo. Ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Stop in Tokyo. Oh, what is this? Ain't going fed to start getting scared. Ain't no nigga never played with me in jail or free. I'm still a menace of Memphis. Still the king no matter what jungle. Slick Omo. I am not reading this. Ice. Was this a rap? I, um, it could have been. Uh, okay. I, I, I retract. I don't know. I no longer want to free the substance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Thank you. Nigga. He was saying some sly shit, though. King he in was. The, king, king in any jungle, nigga. Mm -hmm. From Tokyo to Tennessee. Tokyo with an eye. It's that pimp talk. That's what did it for you? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Amazing commentary from the side of the room. Thank you. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, Stop stomping. I don't know. I'm I'm unfamiliar with who he okay. really actually he, is. He's a young rapper that was signed to Gucci. And now he's in jail. Yes. yes. What's he accused of? It was a robbery gone wrong. Okay. Mm. All right. Hey, when that happens. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. But but yeah, like in situations like this, you gotta I, I guess image is everything. So I gotta put on I, I personally I, I'm a little different, but I wouldn't be posting this type of message. Free while locked up. Sit. Let's see. I wouldn't. So I'm still amazed that people inside have access to social media. Social media? These niggas got iPhones. That's like just the, kind the of what amazes me. That's just that. Niggas yeah. called me about new music that I haven't heard yet. I was like, how, <laughs> how you got that? Yeah, they, they, have, they have the same things we have. Mm. Minus. Minus freedom, yeah. Little pussy, little McDonald's. No, 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 they, they, get, they, get, they get the pussy in the McDonald's. Oh, okay. Minus the freedom. Got you. Got it. It's okay. a little different today. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Shout out to everybody behind the wall. Hold your head because they listen to this too. True. That's that what's up. true. That's a fact. That is certainly true. Okay. Final season of Snowfall has begun. Okay. started. All right. Now, I'm, I'm I'm not caught up. I'm, I'm caught up. I'm, I watch both. I'm in. Both episodes were banging to me. Oh, they yeah. dropped two. Two. Yeah, they dropped two. Yeah, dropped two wait till like, I catch up to y'all. What season we don't gotta, are you we don't spoil None. None. Wait, you didn't watch any of it? Oh, wow. You've no, never watched no, 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 they can't wait. Oh, so we're not waiting I for you. I tell you no. that you will not be caught up by the time we come in here and talk. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, this is going to be mad spoiler alerts. I'm only like come one on, season man. behind, but I'm trying to catch up How to many your seasons honor. are there? Four, this is five? Five. This is five. five. This, this is the last five. one. I'm yeah, going to start season. watching it this weekend. It started off pretty good. Yeah, so, I mean, way that better than last year. Ten times better That's not my problem. It always starts off pretty good. Not last year. Not last year started off slow and then it went crazy. Last year was trash. I think only it one episode trash. or two episodes were good out the whole season last year. The first two episodes last season were not trash. Yeah, they wasn't. No, it wasn't. It got trash. It got trash. Last season started off trash to me. And, and they did the same thing. They released two episodes, made us think the story was going somewhere, and it went absolutely nowhere for the rest of the season. It was Man, horrible. Last season, they fucked me up when they opened up the story with a, a fiancé out of nowhere that nobody ever seen and nobody ever knew, and she played a major part in the storyline. Yeah. That's trash. I was lost by the time we got to the Tiger. I ain't gonna hold you. I was cool. So that that fucked it up for me. So Snowfall is like a drug show, yes? Yes. It's based loosely on um, Freeway Ricky Ross. Okay. Snowfall is about to be trash. <laughs> I keep saying Told it. Already. Yo. <laughs> Parks and the rest of y'all can be fooled by these two episodes. I got a little bit of faith. I don't. Bit, I don't. Too. Rest in peace, John, uh, John Singleton. Yeah. But nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Me neither. But that's fine, right? Because I ain't really so excited about Snowfall, which leads me to white drug shows versus black drug shows. I'm picking the whites. Talk about it. Hold on. And it's black, it's black History Month. I know. Give me a second. I know. I'm standing with, I'm standing with Black Joe. History Month. Yeah, yeah. Where do the uh, Latin yeah, yeah, drug yeah. shows fall in this? Well, Snowfall... Narcos is fire, you know what I'm saying? The, oh, you uh, said the Latins? Yeah, the Latin, Latin American Queen. drug show. Well, that bad bunny just got you just all you. Yo, Queen, Queen of the South was fire, too. That's a white show, too. What? Queen of the South? Narcos? Queen of the South. Is Narcos white? is white? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's about white. White adjacent. Yeah. 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 White adjacent. All right, well, let's keep this, let's keep this white versus <laughs> Listen, the black shows, you know, y'all ain't gonna wire me to death here. Y'all get the wire, y'all get power, y'all get snowfall, y'all get the shy... I wouldn't call that a drug. So show. no, not the shot. No, y'all get not a drug y'all get the power universe. Y'all get Kanan. Y'all get uh BMF. The little nigga that went to college. Tommy. Uh, uh Tariq, Tariq in college for some reason, whatever. Uh get, y'all get BMF. Get BMF. BMF's uh, good. Black drug shows. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is that where it stops today? I feel like that's where it stops. I feel like we're and, missing, and snow, we're missing something. And we're snowfall definitely missing more. And snowfall lost me. Like I think that that's why I stopped watching. It just like it just uh, last season was trash. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, but the white drug shows. Let's talk about it. Ozark between uh-huh. between Ozark, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad, yeah, uh, Weeds, Mayor Kingstown. But Mayor Kingstown ain't a drug show. Well, I guess it's not. But I I got it being one Top Boy. <laughs> it's a black drug show. They, no, they do. I have never seen Top Boy. I've never seen it, but 
It's, That's a black drug show? It's, it's based out of London. Top so Boy. It's dope. Okay. Mm. Um, Sopranos. No. No, that's not a drug show. No. Sopranos wasn't considered a drug show? No. No. Nah. Okay, sorry. Honestly, I'm getting oh, like if I, Godfather in... Harlem. Yeah. yeah, okay. Godfather Harlem. The blacks are winning. Okay. Now, now you, that I think about You Godfather put your little Harlem. Ozark right on over there back in, where's that, Minnesota? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Ozark was fire. Why? Ozark was fire. Wait, 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 why? Crazy. Wait, why? What show have you named that's making me put Ozark in Minnesota? The Why? The Why, yeah. Okay, so and I, and now right, so no, the why is not making uh, me on. put Ozark let's say, away let's, in the shelf. Let's just say, for but the let's, sake call of this let's call it even. Let's call it even. Let's call it even. Now, it. what what black show puts Breaking Bad away? I, I'm not. I don't ever seen Breaking Bad. So. Huh? Well, none of them. Yeah, at all. If you use yeah. the wire already, not a one. You can only no. use the wire for one of those. So you saying all them other shows can't jump Breaking Bad and get it out of here? No, 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 no bro, not at all. Breaking, no. Bad no, Breaking Bad is television is, fucking perfection. You better yeah. use Breaking Bad against The Wire. Yeah, honestly. absolutely. Like, yeah. You better try. I wouldn't even waste that against better, Ozark. Yeah. You need to use that against uh, The Wire versus Breaking Bad. Or put Bad. like Tommy against Ozark just to get that, that <laughs> hit out there. You know oh, yeah, yeah. You throw it out there. Put Tommy out there. That's smart. How you doing the verses? At the fish food? How you doing the verses? Yo, I'm not doing it. I'm counting Your Honor and Mayor of Kingstown. I'm counting Your Honor and Mayor of Kingstown. Your Honor is a white drug show? No. Neither your, is Mayor Kingston. Wait, your honor, the the family is a what? Not not your honor, the, the crime family. They're mob, the but mob. the drug dealing family is black. Yeah. Yo, come on. And if you're going to go, ma- show. No, and if that's you gonna go mayor show. of Kingstown. They both deal drugs. But the mayor of Kingstown, all the shit that get it popping is based on Bunny and what they following him doing. He black. Well, not this season. What what white people on this, Mayor this, Kingstown this, sell this, drugs? This season is about all of the boss, bosses. Yeah. Now he's still a story, but it is. It's about all of the bosses coming together to agree on how she's going. How far are you along? Get moving. I'm going up. Spanish niggas out of here. So where he at? I'm still talking about the primitive. The bosses have. It's not. It's not like last season with just the black dude. All right, you say so. It ain't no drug show. Listen, outside of the wire, your little power universe. Because if you gonna say Mayor Kingstown and all that, I'm gonna go BMF's fire though. I'm gonna go get Oz. I like BMF. BMF's fire. Oz. And we got Hot Town. High Town. High Town's not what? trash. High Town is not trash. Definitely not trash. You Definitely are a disrespectful trash. West Yo, Orange folks. thug. <laughs> Yo, Honestly, dog. you are disrespectful. Y'all be giving too much props to some of this bullshit. Nobody wants to see this little girl run around High Town eating box all day. I do. Pilled I up. <laughs> I, I, I love that. The bitch got the best finger pop game out. She make everybody come off the finger pop. I'll be like, damn, I need to nigga. learn that. You like that girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> they, be going, they be going crazy. I'm like, yo, teach me that. Fam, that shit is trash. No, that shit's not trash. All right, not no trash way. Though. No way. High Town is not crazy. trash ish. It's fine. That's my take, and I'm staying there until somebody makes me move off. It. I'm trying to think what other. Oh, shows. you watch the Wu Tang shit? I, I saw the first two episodes. Okay, I'm, I know it's like four already. They jumped now. the shark in episode three. You can just skip that one. Go okay. ahead. I fell asleep on three. That's what happened. Yeah, jumped the shark. Yeah, I don't know. That's a parkism. Jump the shark means a show went to two left. Yeah, they, they, went they yeah super left. Yeah, they picked like a like a trope that was just so pathetic that. It just, you know, Sharks. it just kills, it kills the show's momentum. A TV they, correspondent. Thank you so much. Sorry. I appreciate it. Yeah, they just. <laughs> what's the trope? They, they, <laughs> Mel BC. <laughs> yo, <laughs> stupid, Fuck yo. y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm a nerd. It's cool. No, that's fire. You good? Yeah. That's fire. No, but I'm, I'm still sticking with Joe. The white shows? The white shows. Yes. Yeah. And happy Black History Month. And happy Black History Month. Absolutely. Could've waited. Could've waited and while I'm on white news. <laughs> what, what we did, man. While I'm on white news, sometimes you got got to come in here and just say when we got it wrong, man. And if you're just looking at Britney Spears lately, then I see, and that's y'all fault too out there. Yo, <laughs> it is. They killed me for this. That's y'all. They killed me for you whatever you're about to say. You said it. I did. One hundred percent said it. Did he say it? Yes, he did say it. He did. Yes, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. And got killed. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Run it back again. Say it again on Black History Month. <laughs> well, she's white, so this is, you know what I mean? And it's true. It's true, yo. They was right, yo. <laughs> Britney Listen. Spears shouldn't have control of her assets. Be a little help. <laughs> yeah, she should not have control <laughs> of, of anything that she's earned over this. She shouldn't. Just she a shouldn't. little help. She needs a little help. Now, I'm not saying that dad should have had it, because dad was <laughs> milking her. <laughs> but somebody else should be in control. She don't need her money. Y'all on the internet always want people to have, have their fucking freedom. 
Yo. <laughs> that's a lot. No, black for real. Month, no, man. no. On the internet, they just, they just, that's your problem. <laughs> your fucking asses just sit there and say what's right. Yeah, they do. What's right? Don't be right all the time. Mm. That's facts. That girl should not have a money issue. Oh, they, so if you would like to crack your neck and, <laughs> and do that shit you do and argue with me about it, then I'm down. But Britney Spears shit. And if you try to argue, I'm going to read one of her posts. Because she is going. I don't want no sauce. I think that if she earned that money, that's her bread. Exactly. That I, think that, I think that her children and need to be put in a better situation based on her. So then give it to Kevin Federline or whatever the nigga Yeah, yeah, is. yeah. Whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, then rock out with that. But if I'm out here dancing on these stages and singing these songs, that fucking money is mine. I don't care if I want to blow my money on bubblegum. Mm-hmm. I earned that fucking bread. It's not really how the music business works, but I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> I, can I ask a question? <laughs> I'll allow it. What's should, up? Should, should Wendy get her money back as well? Well, when did she have her money back? Ooh. She should get her money back. Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Why? Uh, not the same type of sick. Can you stop catcalling, men? <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not the same sick. And the bank don't have that right. The bank don't have the right. That the bank is who did that to Wendy Williams. No, Got ju- it. no judge came and said, "Hey, Wendy is too ill to have control of shit." What did the, the bank, bank just, do? Uh, the bank. They froze her the bank, Yeah, they just froze yeah, her shit based off of, of a clause money. of a clause in their contract that says, "If we think that you ain't fit, then you can't get your money." And she fought it, so it has to go up. So who get it? Nobody. It's, it's just frozen. So the bank Somebody just freeze your assets yeah. until we deem... You, you mentally you dap, competent. You dapping a nigga. You ain't even got the information. Yeah, I thought he was talking about something else. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's not the same thing at all. That's not the same thing. But again, I, I just think that if I earned his bread... But if Wendy Williams proves... Hey, and also, Wendy Williams, I see you out here. You moving around. If you she ever is. need a safe space... To have a conversation with someone who will not judge you and edit you to look silly and foolish. My door is always open. You have always been a friend to me and kind to me after the gay rumors on BLS and we put that to the side. But yeah, big Jersey, Jersey legend, Jersey's finest. I don't like how they handled you at that network and I am here for you as you have always been there for me. That's important for me to say. Big Joe. Because I see how they treating Wendy Williams and I don't like it. I like that. I like what you just yeah, did. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Yeah, no, it pissed me off. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else we got? What else we got? I got a lot of shit. Uh, Black. Black, the artist. Uh, He's coming out with coming an back, album. Right? Yeah, I've been, I've black, been asking where's Black. The artist announced that his album is dropping next month, March I love Black. Same. I love his character. Mm-hmm. And I love the music that he makes. So I'm going to clap it up for him. Mm-hmm. And I'm totally open to being wrong with this take. I have already spoken to Justice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two days in a row about it. And I want to be careful of how I dress this up here. Mm. But I think this is career suicide for him. Wait, what? Wow. Black dropping an album next month. Why? 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 I couldn't be more afraid for him as somebody I like, love, and enjoy. And I'm aware that I may be triggered because of things that have happened in my career. But when new when the new regime got the Def Jam and they just said we putting Joe album out next week or next month, and there was no preparation for it, they hadn't heard my album. We didn't have a single. I didn't know a radio budget. I didn't know shit about shit, but the label was saying they was putting my album out first quarter. On this pod, we keep talking about what the first quarter is. Mm. Well, it's it's the second, second quarter. Uh, whatever. Yeah. It's, 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 it's March. It's, 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 it's March. It's, 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 it's get out the way time. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoever we got coming, get them out the way. Now, where I'm black and I get nervous is they coming off Summer Walker, who has skyrocketed mm-hmm. from album one to album two. Mm-hmm. They coming off Division, who say what you want. They put a lot of time into the handling of that project. Mm-hmm. Only for Black, your very first artist and your premier artist. Mm-hmm. Well, Summer's probably a premier artist now. True. Sure. Well, yeah. she is now, and that's where the nervousness would come in. Got you. Because he was, and I don't want to talk about him like he mutt. His first two albums are platinum projects. So he could be the guy that could just coast to a platinum project. His first mm-hmm. album is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Great album. Second album, not so much. Good album. 
not like the first, but good. But it sold EP, a million records. EP was some people didn't like it, but if I'll this project come out and do bad with bad music and a bad single, it will be very tough for him to recover. And it'll be even tougher for the label to continue to pay attention to him with Summer Walker doing what she's doing. I feel like he must be, um, he must have some heat. And, he, and he I, must have some heat. And it's been that, like four, four years. How if he had some heat, the label would have picked the song and put it out for us to hear it. Mm. Mm, true. One, sooner than three, four weeks. I feel like they. it's been weird with um, non-superstar artists in, in rollouts. Like even um, Don Tolliver, who dropped today, salute to Don Tolliver. Like we didn't really hear about it until it came. One is one little piece missing with the black conversation is he's with Justice, who. My bad. I just wanted to reply now. Uh -huh. Don Tolliver is with Travis Scott in Atlantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he could kind of do whatever he wants to do in terms of support. Okay. He's gonna have the support. I was shocked that his album was coming off, coming out today too. Yeah, I did. But I Don is very, very that. and it's sick. Yeah, it's dope. It's sick. It's called Love Sick. It's a concept project. I spoke to him yesterday on AMP. He, uh, Lovesick is a diner, and every person working in the diner is going through something different in their lives, and he is the manager of the diner. Oh, shit. I got to listen to this again. Oh, wow. I got to listen Sold. to this again. I Sold already. Fire. That's fire. I love kind of I only like, heard the first Sold. seven joints, but <clears throat> if, if you love Don, this sounds crazy so far. Mm-hmm. Okay. It sounds crazy so far. And if you're a Travis fan, it fits right into that kind of musical aesthetic, so. Yeah. Now, you were saying about no, Black. He got justice in him, who... I have kind of focused on the marketing and can get you to look at the, the project. Holy now with, shit. Hold on, let me finish. Now with, we we all were kind of in agreement. We, we think Black probably got some heat in the tub. Uh -huh. No, I did. I was not in agreement. Okay, well, well me and Parks were in agreement with that mm -hmm. because that's, he makes good music. He does. So now the, 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 the then disconnect Then why haven't you heard any in five years? I'm not he saying that, he, I'm not saying that he doesn't. He did an EP a couple years ago. The it six wasn't piece, good. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. I'm just saying, if I got people that can take care of the marketing side and I got some heat over here, then let them work it when it's time to work it. This is the other problem with what you're saying. LVRN just signed like some 100, 200, 300 million dollar deal somewhere. They just hired B. Cox as the VP of some shit. Like they oh, got. Oh, for real? I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, oh, big, no, big shit Hell popping. Yeah. Big business over there. Yeah, that's what's up. Not if you're black. Mm. Not mm. if you're black. That's not what's up. So you don't listen. I could be totally I, off here. I, I, think I was about to say, wrong. yo, you. Think I could be totally off, but I ain't normally this off. You think with two platinum projects? Then you said another project was kind of mid. That if this project don't be a smash, he in, in trouble. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yes. If this project that's ain't what, it. He's definitely going to be in trouble. For sure. But that's what believes me. But to I don't think it's not going to be it. Uh, that's terrible. Usually artists that are that talented, if they have a project that is not received as well as it could be, fuck numbers. Let's just talk about what people said about it. Yes. Which Black second album was. They usually come back with some heat the third time around. Okay. Sophomore slump, rebound on the third. There wasn't a single on Black's last album. I just want to remind everybody. For real, they nothing leading now, to it. Now, Justice and his team will say the J. Cole record performed well at radio. Mm -hmm. And that's great. Mm -hmm. But there's not a radio record on that project. And now you have another project five years later with no music. Let me ask you a question. Coming in four weeks. Fam, if this ain't the uh, cop standing in front of Lincoln Tunnel with rifles, if that don't let you know something is going on, <laughs> something's going on oh shit yo why they got all the niggas with rifles standing by something <laughs> something is up yo <laughs> this is something is up <laughs> T today today 2023 do you think you need a radio single no that's what I'm saying like, he you put radio single well, I you said, said you ain't single. heard single. nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't heard nothing good no, well nothing nothing not, that's a no expectation. That's scary. You haven't heard anything. I, I will say that's I, scary. I, I have noticed a shift, and I just mentioned that's it scary. earlier. I've noticed a shift with the way that people are putting out music. I think that the, the whole algorithms have changed. That's why we see Snow saying she wants she's not putting shit out until they figure out something, something to that effect. I think that shit is changing. The way that people are putting out music, the way that music is being uh, received, has changed even from five years ago in the streaming era. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So why didn't the same team handle division that way? And why didn't mm. the same team handle Summer that way? Mm. That's a good point. True. 
That's valid. That's a great point. When did that different artists though? When when did that division single drop? Like how far away was the album when that dropped? Well, think about it. We, was a while. We, it yeah, was a while. while. It was a while. I, I want to say okay. eight weeks because we had to talk. I remember been, we had to talk. And I then just the didn't talk remember the time. Was it that for, long? It might have been felt, longer than that. It felt that, shorter honestly. to me. That's why I was asking. Yeah, it felt shorter it, to me too. I don't think it it might have been longer than that. It was a while. Okay. Lay, Joe Button says, hey, is men with rifles standing in front of the tunnel for black? That's my okay. tip. Well, and, and, and black, I, I, would, I hope I'm wrong. I love you, yo. You know I love you. I don't even have to tell you that. But that's why I'm concerned. Mm. All right, well, we, we talking music. Um, what do you guys think? Gunna has left YSL. Non-story. Non-story. It's a non-story. It's the internet making something of absolutely nothing again. Okay. Gunna, mm -hmm. who was probably put, paired to be in YSL by Atlantic just to bolster the image and the records and the, get the shit moving. Mm -hmm. All right, now he's over there. All right, we're going to take Gunna's on Atlantic. He's always been on Atlantic. So he didn't, he didn't move anywhere. He's on Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Just there's no YSL. Non-story. Got it. Okay. Where, where else would he be? There's a contract there. Can't go nowhere. I got you. Now. Uh, Snow Allegra saying she was going to yeah. retire. Yeah. Tell yeah. me more about. She didn't say retire. She didn't say retire. Look at you hating on, hating I, on women. Hating on women. The one thing I'm not doing is hating on Snow Allegra. I hate the fact that everybody found out about her. I, she was like my oh, little sister. Oh, yes, I, I, yes I, I, the I, fuck I, I am. Oh, you, I have, I have and I go back to that gun loved concert. this woman. when no, I was like, have you ever heard of Snow Allegra? And people mm. were like, no, nah, I know who that is. I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Canada just, vibes, right? I'm, she's just... She's just a she's a fucking unicorn. She's like I just love this woman. And on Black History Month, she she's a woman of color. She's all a woman I of said color. was on Black History Month. That's all <laughs> I about. love love this. <laughs> okay, Parks. So she tweeted. We don't have much context, but she just tweeted. I am definitely not dropping anything else ever again until I find <laughs> a way to get this done in a very different one way. Again, I'm so sorry. Heart. That's mad cryptic. It is cryptic. Listen, as long as Tyler, the creator, is not allowed in whatever studio she's going to, I don't care. <laughs> Keep like that nigga out of here. Records. They were cool. Wasn't that first album. No, nah, that's true. Or anywhere near it. That's true. They were cool. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It was, they were cool. it was a different, yeah, the second album. That first album. I, I don't I, know. I, the first album was a classic. Classic, classic. Oh, that was another good time to court women. Facts. Snow Allegra's album. Facts. What did that do for y'all? Well, no. I'm talking to a room full of motherfuckers with like, you know. Dicks. It's, it's, well, no. <laughs> Long-term relationships and marriages. I ain't dumb. My girl like girls. You can talk to me. We, got, we outside. My girl like girls. We, we outside. My girl, I'm, I'm not dumb. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So that area yeah, you talking about. Yeah, you can talk to, to Well, yeah, I said yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get back to you. Your girl likes girls? Yeah. And you guys bring girls home? Oh, you think we soft? <laughs> you think we soft? <laughs> what you thought? You think we soft? Yo, who you thought you was partying with, yo? <laughs> Put some respect on us. <laughs> yeah, my girl likes girls, and it's like, yo, let you know, her. Let's get yeah. Parks, you too. <gasps> Holy shit! Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, you, I mean, you, no, 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 no. We will not leave. <laughs> that is why we have you here. Tell us what's on the tip of your it's, brain. It's, 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 it's right there. It's, we see it. We see on. it. I Get hear it. it. Get it out. Okay, like when our, shit is in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I, I, I love I love painted scenarios. I love that. So like tell me, because you're so seemingly conservative and dull and lame, right? And, and no. <laughs> yeah, say it. Tight, say it. No, yeah. Tight yeah. lipped. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Dull, corny, yeah, you, you, tight all lip, that tight you, lip, you, you keep your cards close to the vest. Oh, cornball ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you Wait. keep your cards close, close to the vest. That's the wildest way to say corny. <laughs> corny. She going crazy. That's done. a poker reference. <laughs> <laughs> Holy snap. No, it just means, you know, like he just. He, it's corny. He, he don't put his life out here. Just a, like sort a of. real loser, right? But I, Facts. I, I am trying to see. I, I'm trying you to can't get see like it. a. Still can't see it. I get a visual of like how something like that would go down. Are you guys going to the club? You're a hater. Do you see her on? Do you see the girl on Instagram? Is this a conversation? Like we do all that. We send hey. girls to each other. Yeah, yo. But, yo, do, look, but does think? it like yo. result in you bringing them home? Huh? She, she. You, what you do is you just let her do it. We talking. We talking to somebody about the pool who won't put their feet in the water. Mm. 
Why are we talking to Melissa Ford about anything? You know what? Why, hmm. why, you, why you think she ain't put up? You want to know why? Why are we talking to Mel? You right. want to know right. why? Yo, are you going to at least put your foot in the pool? You Sit wanna, here. No, no, ask us what the water looks like. Don't do this. No, here's the thing. Listen. Don't do this, Melly. Shut the fuck up. Don't fuck around be a dolphin for all you know, nigga. But let's know it. Paul, we let's know it. Let's know it then. No, Let's know it. All she do is come here and say, I have to heal. I was. I used to be a dolphin. I was going to ask later on, you know, like what our sexual kinks are, but I'll just go first. And one of mine is I'm a little bit of a voyeur. I like to watch. Girl. Girl. Your secret. Hey, maybe. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Flip. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Melissa. What? Yes. Maybe that works. With those little 24 year old niggas. That shit don't work with us. That, them niggas that you get their dick hard by just saying little yeah, shit like that, yeah. maybe it works. It don't, not here. But here, if you're gonna lead with something strong and bold, like I was gonna ask about kinks, but I'll go first. Talk I'm a void. <laughs> what? Girl, girl. We don't wanna hear that. Girl, girl. <laughs> Not too much on Mel, but girl. No, too much on Mel. <laughs> Don't no, say they say we've been going too hard on Mel. I yeah. mean, I'm yeah. just... Look what she that. just said to a bunch of niggas that, that move. But you know the problem is the, debating with a girl, when you listen back to it, it never comes out right. It sounds crazy. <laughs> so, okay, so bad. wait. Do you bring home... Do you, do you I don't talk about my, I don't look, talk about look, my escapades anymore. He keeps just trying to catch somebody. He keeps his cards close to his chest. I keep the cards in my pocket. My nigga. Yeah, you just you want to do you want to do this, but you want to be like, oh, no, no, I'm not talking about my personal life. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you like to watch, go watch. It. We could tell who you was on point. And stop trying to invite yourself in me, Ice and Park's bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As soon as we say that, she here she go. Really? I'm a, I'm a boy, yeah. Hey, I like, content, I like to lie. Wait, wait, wait. Con content over remember, everything. We remember who she like. Uh, content yeah. over motherfucking everything. Yeah. She said, really, not, not, over law, not over lawsuits. <laughs> yeah. What'd you, what'd you oh, shit, right. Got it. Content over lawsuits. <laughs> like, Park, like, why, why, why my man Park surprised you? You went to that white type of freaky stuff, aren't you? I, Avril Lavigne? Huh? You no. I just, because he's, he's so chill, and I just... Maybe I made assumptions. You did. You God did. No, you did well, make assumptions. Then fuck. You I'm, I'm, I'm fucking wrong. It, it seems like you've assumed things about everyone here except for one person. I am. Mm. So I can't mm. make any assumptions mm. about I won't, you. I won't. Big Joe. I, I, I wasn't Ooh. really talking about me. But no, okay. He no, he wasn't. Uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> she didn't do the science. <laughs> she not Bill Nye the science guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to light the bazooka flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flip. Yo, I'll kill him. I'll kill him right now, Joe. All right. Don't lie to him. Look. The fire right there. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Yeah. Put it down. Uh, stupid, yo. He seems, it seems like there's no fucking way. Nobody that asked you to yeah, speak oh, on it. Oh, nobody, nobody asked you. Because now I'm on Ish side. Nobody <laughs> asked you to speak on Ish okay. at all. Thirsty. I, you were hinting. My man, you not, were totally hinting. It was like this. We can move. On. I want to he talk about Snow nothing. Allegra. <laughs> yeah, word. Okay, let's right. get back to Snow Allegra. Mm. Let's go. Let's let's get, let's get back to Snow Allegra. Yeah, don't get so distracted so easily. <laughs> Anyways, when your little voyeur lines don't work, maybe you can't bag a nigga your age. <gasps> oh, wait, oh, I don't. Shit. No, wait, wait, wait. Not, I don't necessarily want to. Oh, I don't necessarily. She want, want the, to. She want the Cubs. Yeah, I mm, yeah. remember she said she want the Cubs. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. She want the young nigga with the honey pack. Chill out, man. Come on, somebody's on the board. Boy, Chill. that doesn't need a honey pack. Oh. My, my. <laughs> you gotta say my, <laughs> my, 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 my. Yes. Sure look, look good, good tonight. tonight. You make a John Wick man. Stop. All right. All right, come on. Move right along. I'm on Ish side from now on because she be trying that shit. I'm over her. I, I'm over her little antics and that tricks. Because so then the no. comments just blame us. Oh, these like guys a, are such horny talk. No, we're not. No, we're not. Like a shield over him. We want to talk about right? snow. Right. Now, <laughs> nice music conversation and back to snow. Dirty minds. Uh, Great. Next album, fire. <laughs> Next yeah, album, about to be fire. I don't know Wait, whatever it comes. Yeah. Hey, uh, I hope the beef is not with no ID. And I love snow and no ID, so nah, I'm minding my so. business. That's family, basically, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You can't beef with family? I mean, you can, but... <laughs> you can. You okay. can. I don't think that's the situation, though. Okay. I had another take, too, though. I think it's harder for, for non-superstar artists and acts and people associated with them to make money right now. I think they've changed the algorithm from what it was a couple of years ago, and now you got to figure it out again. Have and to. I think they do that I in the music industry that. intentionally every Absolutely. couple of years. Every time they start to figure out the little loophole, nope. let's switch, switch this shit around. Switch it up. The now goal is not, not for you to make money. Now it's not a curator making the playlist. Now it's algorithm-based. How do you get the algorithm to be tricked? 
you fucking buy enough spins so that it triggers the algorithm. There's they play games, man. They play. And all I think the that shit. she they, got her games played on her. They play shit. Oh, Yo, the music got to be now it's Who x amount of thirty seconds, fifty seconds, whatever it is. With that. It's bullshit. Who it's the all fuck bullshit, would want to put their eggs in that basket, dog? I just saw who was it? Sunny, so Sunny scary, Digital. No, Sunny Digital so scary, just tweeted, I, "I'm I don't want to make music for fucking money anymore. I just want to do it for fun, more or less." Producer, Sunny Digital, dope producer. Yeah, he's, he's kind of citing the same type of shit. Like it's a bunch of bullshit. Huh? No, he was saying it's yeah. yeah. No, I can see it being talked. That shit is yeah. slavery. Be like, I don't see how somebody would really just give they all to that. With no plan B Not saying that She don't have a plan B mm. Or other artists Don't have a plan B That would be scary as fuck If you gotta feed your kids And somebody is out here Tricking the system So you don't eat But it's like Even when you figure out the trick then They change the trick, the trick. Yeah. Switch the trick Yeah that's crazy It remind me. me of um, when We talking about drug shows And shit BMF Back when um, meet With Wood Harris When Meech and them Was like yo we got enough We gonna pay And we gonna get about it No 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 you're not Mm-mm. Like he upped okay. the price on I'll purpose. The price. Or did some bullshit on because purpose. you still can't you get from under my selling, thumb no matter selling what. Selling my shit. Yeah, you ain't like, gonna become. The goal is not for you to get out. The goal is to keep you trapped, mm-hmm. and that's the same thing with the music business. It's to keep you trapped, even if you think you figured it out. Oh no, let's tweak it now. So what? You, what you thought you was getting ready to get ahead? Nope. Now we done fucked it. Fucked you, and now you you behind again. It's crazy. Thoughts and prayers. I don't really think it's that crazy. What you mean? Really? Make you work harder. That's not true, man. Yeah, but what? Hell. If you're working hard up to this goal, and this is what they tell you, in order to get there, you got to do this. And now you, not that right what there, you, not they that what you're saying it, is what? incorrect. That, that's no, somebody somebody tell Let you me got... clarify what I'm saying, because oh, yeah. you're not saying anything wrong. Y'all know I feel like the people that make the music are the super superheroes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like no power that beat could really fuck with the X-Men. Like, if you can make a song... That's your power. But yeah, these niggas mm-hmm. want to be famous. No, they but sometimes they're famous. You, I want to make money off of this. And yeah. if you're tweaking how I make the money, it don't matter how good my song is. That's not true. That's not true. There are 20 billion ways to make music with your music. The make one money make money, yeah, money with your music. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got you. We got okay. you to make uh, money with your music. The one way that we be talking about is the music business. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's one of the problems in music is that we only ever talk about the music business. True. We don't really come in here and get with the uh, Tech Nine Strange music. Hey, what did y'all do with touring? Uh, mm-hmm. What's going on? How did you make turn your merch into a $10, 20000000 million business? We don't really focus on all the other ways. Uh-huh. So we only talk about this. And when we do it in front of microphones, it makes the kids only say, hey, I want to try to make music, which turns our talks into, hey, it's niggas that don't make, don't make music making music. Like You don't really hear people come up and want to be a part of all the other gigs. Mm-hmm. In this huge ass industry, mm-hmm. like so, we we talking about artists and shit being fucked up, but y'all ain't got to go that route. But look, but, Joe, but, but look, but, even that, even that. So you think a, a lot of people have seen what Tech was doing and and say, all right, maybe I'll do this over here. You know what happened? All right, now we bought the venues, so especially y'all, rock, the Rock Nation people. Don't let me really have a conversation now, about now Rock we, Nation people. You know, they they put they mer- they putting your merch in your contract. Like your three sixty now consists of them doing your merch. So now the merch you sell, we getting a piece of that. So where before you might have thought, okay, cool, I put the music, who's, I don't make who's any that? labels. See, <laughs> labels. See, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You're saying just do it without the label. I'm saying I think the There's real ways to magic do it without the label. is your ability to make music. It is, but you can have. How does that music if, sound? If I make the best every, song in the world music, and nobody hears it, what that's does that I was mean? about to say. Based on what y'all say, well, you know, I don't know nothing that's about That's the this. next part. That's the next board of Pac-Man. That's mm. the next Pac-Man board. Remember when you finished about seven Pac-Man boards and then the pink board came? It's like, yeah. all right, all right, now. Ghost is moving I gotta fast go. now. Yeah, that's that part. So if we ain't get to the answer yet, that means then you didn't get to that. You didn't get to that part. I was one of the people in my career, which is why I'm adamant on this, that had to make mute. I, there's two producers on my, on my album. The nigga in Bayonne that I met at 15 years old that went to Hudson Catholic that we had to grow and learn together who did all the beats. Mm-hmm. And three beats from Just Blaze. Oh, no, and Lofi did 10 minutes. So that's three. But that's my entire album. There is no Pharrell. Mm -hmm. There is no Swiss. There is no Tyler, the creator. Mm -hmm. There's none of of these people are walking in the door to come save your ass. And if they do, you're going to sign off some of that pie. Absolutely. So I had to figure it out for me. It's no. There's no ID involved. Mm -hmm. It's Rock Nation involved. It's Epic. It's Sony. Whoever's involved, it ain't just Snow and her people. And her so people. they got to figure it out. 
They got to figure it out. And I hope they do it soon. I hope we get a great album. Snow, you know, I love you. Yeah. Snow is one of them, so. Yeah. I don't really spend too much time talking about people I don't love on this show. Word. Actually. That's how it, That's mean, how it should be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been saying that. Yeah. Like, I just focus on what I like. Uh, speaking of shit. people that I love. <laughs> Woo! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh! Turn this shit up. It can't go up no louder. Rest in peace, DMX. Swiss, what up? Uh oh, bro. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yo, that's tough. Why you stop? Because he said the Drake will sound like his coughing from the smoking barrel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Leave them on their own, like the Oprah Channel. <coughs> I don't think Wayne should be able to rap this good still. <laughs> He been killing shit for a couple years on the low. I, I, I think a kid here said down. it. Why he still dope like this? Sometimes you just gotta remind people because they play with your name. Like they play with your name a lot. Look at Lil Wayne walk around. He's like our President Biden, right? Like he might Yo. just fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell <laughs> Tell Tell way to fuck me up. Where the fuck I'm saying though? That nigga should not be this nice still. Also, I like when Wayne and Swiss do this. They just did it with the Benjamins. I liked that one. And they did with special delivery, no? Mm-hmm. That's what I was talking oh, about. Okay. Special delivery. Yeah, yeah. Special, yeah, I like when they get together and, and redo the flip. I wouldn't have liked this flip from anybody else but Swiss. That's yeah. This is hard, though. This reminds me of Jersey City, Sony Radio, fucking mixtape days. That shit is hard. Where did that list have Wayne at? At number seven? Seven. seven. <laughs> Wrong. That's what he had him at. They had him seven, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. One of the greatest rappers Seven, yeah. of all time on Billboard. Just, Last just, night. Yeah. Yes, it's just Thursday. dropped. It's yeah. just dropped. This just came out. Thursday, I think. Yeah. They might be wrong. No, they're wrong. Wayne ain't seven. That's fine. Wayne should not still be. Wayne and Nas, as they age, are disrespectful. They are rude. Both of them act like, like almost like they got a chip on their shoulder. Like, you mm -hmm. keep, all these new niggas keep coming up. You keep putting people with my name or people past me that I don't think should be mentioned with me, so I'm going to keep smacking you to remind and, you. And, and Nas just stated. He, yeah. Yo, what did rap, Nas rap, state? The rappers my age, of uh, my generation, do not inspire me anymore. At all. Was Andre 3000 well, what, what, what on the top What rappers is in his generation? What rappers is in his generation? That was a little shit. That's still rap. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 it was a little shit. Dun, 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 I did. I did. <laughs> well, I'm proud of this. Swiss beats. You know they always got to have go God I love it. I love it. They still got it. That's what Nas was saying. Lights out, nigga. That's what Nas was saying. That verse ain't really. Talk about oh, nigga. You got your plumber you know butt out. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know you talking about Queen. I don't know. Y'all say it. Who are you nigga. talking about? Nas is talking about Jay-Z? Yeah. He said that yeah, God did verse ain't do It wasn't all that. That's what he's saying. That's it. That's what he's saying. Let's be real. That's what the fuck he's saying. You know I heard that about? verse. I'm watching y'all go crazy over that verse. And Cheers, it, all right. it ain't all that. <laughs> and stop dropping the same time as my man. Huh? We tired of that. Even if Nas is right about the verse not being all that, I still think that Nas needs to do what Jay-Z did and highlight himself in that way. He need to just go somewhere. And go crazy. On, yeah. a, on one of them type of go crazy beats for five minutes and be Nas. The same way that's all Jay-Z did was be himself at the end of that record. Mm -hmm. If Nas goes somewhere and just be himself, it, it's just now, cute I, enough to hate. I don't it's talk to Ish during to Nas <laughs> topics. <laughs> I, I ain't say two words. Yeah, but Parks is trying to get you, throw you the ball. Jay-Z gave you 30 years of shit that he really went through. Oh, really, Lord. Okay. That he really did. Nas going to do that? He don't have to. I know. Why does Nas have to do that? You said Nas go in the room, give you five minutes of himself, and it ain't going to come out like that. I you know. But I'm not looking for Jay Z from Nas, oh, and I'm no. not looking for Nas from Jay Z. I know. Uh, Nor I, do I, I think either one of them could be each other. We know that. Ish, you're not going to trick me. I'm I think that Nas is so necessary. Word. He's also a top five rapper, maybe higher for me. That's where he is on Joe Budden's list. Even if you want to argue against it, it's kind of tough with the run that he's on right now. I can't, I, I can't have him out. I can't name five rappers bro, better. Than I literally me. just had this discussion last night on my show. Like, yo, Nas is still putting out music at a very high clip. Yeah, no, yeah. it ain't just it ain't Regularly just putting out too. music. Yeah, like, bro, longevity matters. Yeah, it's too effortless. Definitely does. It's too and, effortless. And you still sitting here 
30, yo, that's it's 30 years. Mm-hmm. You 30 years in and are still dropping heat, out rapping your peers. It's like, yeah, fam, it ain't been 30 got, years for Hove. Hove was trying to Hawaiian Sophie his way out the bag around 30 years ago, right now. He had to go get it right. It's 25 years. Is that five year difference? Mm-hmm. It's different. Yeah, is that five year difference? There's nothing wrong with it. On my show yesterday, I was playing, I played uh, Fab, She Wildin', and I played Uchi Wildin'. I was like, God damn, that nigga <laughs> nod, boy. Yo, for Uchi Wildin' to be a radio record, if you listen to all three of those verses, they are disgusting. <laughs> They should not have been rapping about that on the radio. <laughs> Nas is that dude. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't know what we was talking about. <laughs> yeah, shouts to Nas, man. And I heard KD4 on the way. Nas, you better stop talking to Hov like that. <laughs> I'll tell you that, though. No, nah, I don't think they should ever stop talking shit to you. Heard heard you heard him? I'm sick of them, the too. Verse? No, I'm not. I want to keep... I'm no, he it. said we almost hit Hov like, nigga... It yeah, let's over. keep it going, yeah. yeah. yeah this is that. I like that. that. This is that. Nigga. I like that energy, man. Yeah, nigga. Because you know what? You're right. Because who else is Nas going to do it with? Right. That's the point. There's Who no else? one else. There's nobody else. Ain't nobody else. And it's like, it's not how it was back then when they were beefing. Like, it's not no. like real animosity. They're both up, 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 super legendary, mad, crazy catalog, I'm all fun. that shit. I'm having fun. <laughs> it was just having fun. That's a topic that never comes up. What do you do when your creativity op dies? Mm. Mm. Your muse. Mm. That's a good question. It might not be your muse. It's sort of like might, it's just, it, is, it is kind it's of just like it's an adversarial I can't, adversarial I can't say that Nas has been amused for Jay Z or Vice. Well, they both say it about each other. Yes. <laughs> but they both say it about each other. Yeah. But Since, that's kind of like a, a famous rap dig. Since, I'm your mute nigga. I fired you, my little nigga. You my son, nigga. Well, that's what you rapping about was me. <laughs> I did that stuff. Yeah. You was, in the, you was in the house watching from a window. <laughs> well, yeah, no, but you didn't say which window it was. <laughs> That wasn't the safest window. <laughs> <laughs> Made it a hot line. Made it a hot line. Anyway. I love it. Yeah, I love I, it. Keep I, that I, shit I going for Yeah, yeah I like it too now. Yeah, y'all y'all convinced me. Come yeah. on, man. Hope yeah. got to as as, gotta respond now. I still want to see Nas the Rock, <laughs> you know what's gonna the Rock Nation brunch. You know what's going to happen. Yeah. He's definitely going to respond. You say you don't want to see Nas the Rock Nation brunch? I do want to see Nas the Rock Nation brunch. He's never been? I don't know. He might have been. He probably did. I like all the pics with him, Puff, and... Hove, all them fucking black excellence picks. Mm-hmm. I like all that shit. Oh, shit. Speaking of puff. Oh, let me get ready. Dick Ryan. Yo, if you hate my puff takes and think that I only deliver them this way because I used to work for Revolt, skip this part of the pod. I'm about to lose my mind right now. Oh, you listen to it? No. Oh, <laughs> that, yeah. That's the funny oh, shit. shit. That's the funny part. So Ice hit me a few days ago and said, well, damn, I'm snitching. Uh, it don't it. matter. I see me a few days ago said, yo, I sent you that Puff album missing your email, the R&B one. He said, there's some shit on there. Everybody loves. There's some, he just started naming it. Bryce said, everybody's on there. Oh, shit. And I'm like, cool. But Ice is saying, no, Ice ain't R&B dude like that. But right. Ice is saying, yo, dog, there's some heat on there. That don't shock me. Y'all know my take on Puff. With R&B And especially. for those of you who don't know my take on Puff, let me give it to you. I feel like music is music is like, damn, how can I say what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to explain this for the people that kind of don't know what I'm saying. You know, and when I say like some people feel music, some people listen to it. Mm -hmm. Music, I feel like if you feel it, you could feel the generations before. That sounds weird. No, 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 no. I'm with you. I get that. Puff for me is New York 80s. (laughs) Rest in peace, Andre Harrell. Mm -hmm. For always. sure, always. It's the Andre Harrell, Keith Sweat kind of thing. And then them niggas, Bobby Brown and them started jacking. And then they came out and it was a war. But it was real street niggas in New York in the 80s. And Keith Sweat kind of riding us to that fame, which led us to uh, Uptown, MCA, mm-hmm. which led us to Jodeci, which led us to Mary, mm-hmm. which led us to... Everything after that, really. Yeah, yeah, Any yeah, R&B that came out after that, for me, from- it stems from... That mm-hmm. I agree for sure. Drew Hill, SWV, Jagged Edge, Total anybody, one Brownstone, Total mm-hmm. One to all, all of that right. shit. It stems from that legendary Andre Harrell early, right? So when you get to Puff, I can hear that. Like I can hear Puff in Danny Kane's album. Mm-hmm. I can hear it in Day 26's album. Mm-hmm. I can hear Puff 
on Dirty Money, Dirt, uh, oh my God. fucking Dirty Money album that is amazing. Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. What an album, right? So this week, when Puff, who has now a label, Love Records, who niggas was clowning like, all right, when are you gonna put some music out? He posted a young lady named Jazzy, J O Z Z Y, and he said, "Yo, got some shit coming." And as soon as I heard the beat, I said, I see what you motherfucker, you did it again. So I'm going to play it for you. I immediately DM the young lady, like a dot groupie, <laughs> like a groupie bird ass nigga and was like, yo, I know it's some heat on there. I know you don't know me, but I could tell when somebody got some heat. This has puff written all over it, yo. And if it don't, his eye for picking somebody that has the sound that he, oh my God. Oh, see, that's him. You don't hear it. Y'all don't hear it. Y'all don't hear it out there. That little I'm playing this shit again, man. That little sneaky bass line that creep up. And oh my God, when Puff get that Congo, no, bring that back. That little shit right there. Hold up. Dog. That, that shit is fucking that's stunning. Dog. That's fire. Dog. I ain't an R and B nigga, but that, that wow. right there is a vibe right there. I could just hear Andre Harrell voice. <laughs> Stupid. God damn it, yo. You hear them backgrounds? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, puff backgrounds always give it away. Listen to this shit. Mace would have came in right there mm -hmm. and lost <laughs> Multi mind. But tell me y'all can't hear what I'm nah, saying. Puff, we hear it. Mm -hmm. Yo, dog, we hear arguably it. Puff's ear for music might be number one. Like, he don't play instruments, from what I've heard. Like, or he not the greatest at instrument playing. So his ear to, yo, you doing that, that's fine. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah. He said, yo, he cut a song off. If your song don't catch him in the first 20 seconds, he cuts it off. I'm going to keep it real. I just looked up Jazzy, and I'm pissed off because Jazzy was just kissing Madonna. And I saw a picture, and I'm disgusted. But the music is hot. That one ad lib right there proves my exact DNA point about R&B. That, whoa, that is a famous bad boy, Mary. Oh, man. Shout out to Jazzy. I'm not with anybody kissing Madonna now. She looks like the scream mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, you talked about them old George Shout out to She might go grab her one six. Hand, yo. Scream go, six. If Madonna got that wet wet, I can see you niggas letting her suck your shit. <laughs> and that's disgusting. Wow. Well, I'm, not, I'm not even graphic. gonna ask you. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. I'm not asking. Um all right, move right along, move right along, move right along. What else we got in music? Anything else in music? That Don Tolliver shit is hard. It is. I mean, I'll save my review for. I didn't uh, know it was dropping for I'm Wednesday. It's, it's, it's fire. To that. Though. It's fire. I didn't even know. Yeah, see it on there for sure. It's fire. Uh I wanna shout out uh Neek Buck from Harlem. Pardon me. I was in the studio the other day with Berg and Billy and the guys. Got to hear some music. He's got a lot more records than I ever knew. It was my first time really getting getting familiar with him. He's dope. Uh, he's, he's dope. dope. He's got some shit coming. Maybe uh, next pod I'll play some shit so y'all can understand what I'm saying. All right. Also, uh, in demo-itis news. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In demo-itis news. Oh, man. I hate demo-itis. I don't want it. I hate it. I can't stand it. I do not it. And want There's nothing it. you can do about it. What's demo-itis? Um, Explain the flip and so, ish what demo-itis is. Knows. You know, right? No? All right. So if you might hear a, the version, the final version you hear of a record is after it's been mixed, mastered, you know, final tweaks and all of that on there. There's usually earlier versions, which are roughs, which would necessarily be like a demo. Got it. So sometimes you'll fall in love with the demo or the rough. And then when you hear the final version, it's so different from what you heard that you you don't even like it. Got it. It's called demoitis because most the average listener never hears that early version. They only get the finalized version. And it's a disease. Yeah, it really, it really is. <laughs> it it'll really it'll is. fuck yeah. up music for you completely. Yeah. So you already be in love with the, the way the, rough, the, yeah, rough, yeah, yeah. the way the sound songs the way the song sounds this way. You fall in love with that because you've been playing it so much. So I've had this record in my phone for years, and. When you have the demo that somebody wrote, like part of the anticipation is seeing where it'll land. Mm -hmm. Like who's gonna buy this record and who's gonna sing, how's this, who's gonna, how's this gonna sound finalized, right? And this is, I've loved the demo of this just forever. Also, right, now that I know the record that- I don't that, know about no demo artists. <laughs> well, you, I didn't let the other one finish playing. That's fine. You ain't need to. <laughs> we good. <laughs> we good. Well, see, but even that, See, what y'all are saying, 
because y'all are hearing both of them for, for the first time yeah. today. Yeah. Now, like he said, he's had that record for years. years. Mm -hmm. So you go years. That, that's literally how the demo life. I went through every change. What I just what I played was the original. Then I got the original with Chris Brown. So I could have played you nine more demo artist versions that you would have loved. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Uh, that glow, but that also, right? On there, mad soulful. And I don't want niggas to think I, like I love every record Chloe's put out. Yeah, me, yeah. I think if it wasn't for Coco Jones, we'd be having a different conversation about uh, Chloe and the song she's put out. But mm. women in R and B, like that's where all the music is. That's where all the hot music is. But anyway, now that I heard this Chloe and Chris Brown record, back to the internet, trying to give people like their freedom and be right. Y'all are wrong. Y'all was wrong. Y'all want this new artist girl. Chris Brown been on this record, by the way. Mm. So she heard this record with Chris Brown on it. I said, give me that. And said, I want that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Dionne Warwick sample, the Usher sample mm -hmm. with Chris Brown, I'm a new artist and I'm a girl. I want that record. And I'm putting it out. Why would the internet now come and try to make her lose the single that the label picked? They've probably been waiting on a record for ages. Mm -hmm. So y'all want her to not work with Chris Brown. But then as I got to thinking more, when the labels normally want to break an R&B girl, you know who they send them to? Chris Brown. See, Chris fucking Brown. Brown. Absolutely. Crazy. Facts. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I never heard, I never hear the uproar. Why is it? Because Chloe is the girl from the Beyonce group. She's supposed to be Nickelodeon. Like, why is it her work with Chris Brown? I didn't hear peep. Not at all. LMA and Chris Brown, not a peep. Not at all. All of them. Oh, yeah, all, hey, all, he nigga, saved all Seven Streeters ass. All of them, yeah. Love you, Seven. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> but it's true. They sent seven right to Chris for years. They stay up under that camp. Not a peep. Y'all, I hate the internet. Y'all had to shut the fuck up. Thanks. Go outside. Go outside. Touch grass. I'm That's glad she thing. didn't listen to y'all and she put this record out. Or and the record is heat. And the record Fire. is heat. And the record, and the record is, is heat. Yeah, like yeah, that, that part, like all that noise y'all make, the record is fucking heat. Well, the internet be effective when people start trying to listen to them. Fuck them niggas. All right, that's all. I don't have any more. I won't hold us hostage with music takes any, any longer. No, nah, it's cool. fun to talk about music. You good, Mel? That's good. Yeah, no, oh. I was just, um, I'm trying to hear like what the difference is. In what? In the two versions that we're yeah. playing? Oh, oh, one no, is way more soulful. The first like, one was a little, I got you. to I me, got you. it was a little you. more poppy. I got yeah, you. Yeah, that's the, the second what I'm hearing too. Short Divorce was a little deeper. It was a little more soulful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, arrangement is different, right? Yeah. Well, you want me to play the Chris version? Let's see. Yeah. All right. Original demo-itis. Well, not original. This is one of the versions. It's the Chris version. Mm -hmm. Voice, tone already. Why would a record like this be sitting around for years, though? Happens, happens all the time. Oh, all the time. That's the music business. That's Shit, a might never come out. Music right, right. Yeah, yeah, somebody might buy that and then never get... So the girl singing, she's a song. She's a songwriter. She's a songwriter, songwriter. and she's a, so and a singer. Dem okay, and that's her reference track. And right? she referenced this mm -hmm. to be sold, mm. but she referenced it one way. And when they were shopping it, I'm speculating now. Uh, somebody said, "Hey, let's put Chris on this," mm -hmm. and nobody is saying no to that. That's kind of my point. Mm -hmm. Even if you like the original version, mm -hmm. we're not saying no to you putting Chris Brown on this sample. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to change the record up. You know what's an interesting demo I heard one time? Um, you know R. Kelly's song, Strip For You? A buzzword now, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, originally, yeah, of course. yeah, so I I guess, you know, he wrote it. But he gave it to Bilal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Bilal sang it. I would fight Bilal if that record was a Bilal record. He, and R. Kelly heard him sing it, and he took that shit right back. Mm -hmm. And do you mind if I stream? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will smack the shit. Out. <laughs> 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 that was I mean, B Bilal did that, you know, that like yeah, yeah. kind of curly, twangy thing that he does with his voice, where he kind of feels like he's being, it sounds like he's being strangled. And R. Kelly was like, "You fucking my shit up." G give me that shit back. I would have loved to see R. Kelly produce Bilal, though. Mm -hmm. Bilal's dope. Because Bilal is magnificently yeah. talented. I just saw mm -hmm. him with Robert Glasper at uh, Sony Hall. Yeah. He tore it down. Mm. He's been doing that in New York for Decades. eons now. <laughs> yeah. Eons now, since Village Underground. Yeah. When nigga, he was over there looking like he had some issues, but <laughs> when he hit that stage, you understood. Mm -hmm. He's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. I would love to sing like that. I wouldn't talk if I could sing like that. I'll be right here singing. Nice. I used to sing, man. Crazy. My glory days. 
fucking angel dust. You used to be a little bit. <laughs> Your man. That's all it was? Nah, nigga can still sing. He get busy. <laughs> We want to keep it on the low. You sleeping on your whole? You sleeping on everybody? Huh? No, I, listen, listen, I'm that, that's, absorbing. That's, that's your thing. No, oh, absorbing. no, I'm absorbing. I'm learning. Come you keep on your now. cards close to your chest, Joe. Th- I don't, there but you I don't. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally don't do that. No, he doesn't. His cards all over. Yeah. Is he gonna belt it? <laughs> your cards all, on the table all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> cards dirty. Did you pick up with them shits? <laughs> Thanks, guys. And we are. Back. Hey, we are. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. You know why you're good? You're interesting, man. You're an interesting guy. Thank you. I mean, it's not important right now, but. Thank you. You just are for the show. Like, so YouTube and anything where we could see you, a vibe. For the niggas listening, <laughs> they want to fuck. They want to kill. Visual. For the niggas that's not watching, <laughs> they're just like, listening. This nigga. But it, it, it encourages people to go watch, mm-hmm. and they say that. You know me. I you know I know my value, so it encourages people. And as a team, we do good. You guys. That's one way to look at it. Yeah, it encourages people to watch. That's a myth, though. No, it doesn't. I, we have a lot of comments highlighted. I'll, I'll share it with you. No, I understand what you're okay. saying, and it's true. But the myth part is, I don't care if none of you audio niggas ever go watch. <laughs> the audio niggas are the audio niggas. And there's a whole different set of rules for that. We'll talk behind the scenes. That. Yeah, that, that, uh, that's a rule I learned from you. You're right. I learned. You t- you yeah, they ain't right. never got to go watch. Yeah. <laughs> we want the people to watch. Anyway, we'll tell you. Uh, um, on to more important things, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, Saucy Santana says that he believes that straight men should not be smoking hookah. So everybody here, I think, indulges. I don't smoke hookah at all. I don't smoke hookah at all. Hookah anymore. Anymore. But yeah, I, I've definitely... But I still rep for the niggas that smoke hookah, though. Like, I'm not that far removed. <laughs> I'm just trying to not smoke things. Y'all, but... too, y'all too bougie to not smoke hookah nowadays? Well, no. I just I've, don't go out I've, no more. I've used all my smoking up in, in my life. I've smoked enough. <laughs> For, for, for a life. lifetime? Yeah, 100%. You, you my, dad, my dad quit smoking uh, cigarettes. He was 43. He was in his 40s, he said. Really? But he didn't start till 27. He started late. My mom quit smoking cigarettes at 37. I started early and bo- bo- early than both of them and ended after both after. of them. I can't play. Yeah, so who could? I'm, Again, but anyway, con- Saucy Santana. Congrats to you, fam. Thank you. This is a and while I'm at it, that is clearly is my biggest flex for myself right now. I keep saying I'm gonna ask y'all what y'all biggest flex is, and y'all keep running from it. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna answer that. But yeah. I still want to congratulate you because quitting smoking is like one of the hardest things in the entire world to fucking do. Yeah. And you, congratulations. Nice. Okay. It's quitting cool. smoking is still functioning, like. And, you, and still functioning yeah, at yeah. a high level, mm-hmm. exactly. So anyway, um, I found the clip. I see exactly what you were talking about. Girls ain't wrong. Them girls is not wrong. If you was the man, you don't need to be smoking a hookah, baby gal. You need to be rolling you up a wood. You need to be smoking you some. A wood? Oh. Okay? You don't need to be sucking down a hookah, bad bitch. Baddie. Mm. You was the man. You don't, unless you was a gay. Unless you gay. Like a gay boy. That's the only reason. I'm, that's the only way I'm letting you smoke hookah. If you not no gay boy, you were a man. Put the hookah down. Put the hookah down and pick you up a grabber. Not with that. He's just looking up for people's health, man. That's sure. what it is. A grabber is a leaf. It's like so, yeah, like, like a, a backwood. Yeah. Like a backwood. Yeah. Got, Got it. it. Okay. I, I smoke hookah. But you're a baddie. He said something about the <laughs> baddie. You know what I mean? <laughs> The fuck out of here. It's starting to add up, Park. That's weird. Yeah. Green eyes, what? smoke hookah. It's weird to me that you smoke hookah. Why? Because you don't do nothing. Because you don't do yes. anything else. That's why. Yeah, it's a little And hookah's horrible for you. For hookah to be the thing that you pick up, but you skip every drug, you skip that alcohol, you skip pills. You don't like. You use condoms. Yeah, you, yeah, you use condoms. I'm smoking you, hookah you, and using condoms. You don't crazy. eat pork. <laughs> Yo, you eat smoking steak. hookah yeah. you using don't, condoms. What, what an oxymoron. Yeah. yeah, not eating pork, but smoking hookah is crazy. Yo, how? That's, 
Well, smoking I, I, hookah. I'm not intelligent enough to tell you how, okay, but it gotcha. don't sound I'm with you. Right. like the vibe. Yeah, the math ain't math. It's literally the equivalent of like smoking, like a session of hookah is like smoking, a like pack a pack of, of fucking cigarettes. It's it is so bad for you. I don't believe that. I don't believe that step for either. a second. It's just some shit that they can't monetize, so they <clears throat> demonize it. Yep. Let, let them be able to tax it. They're gonna be like, hookah's the wave. But what <laughs> do you think? What do you think about it? Did you take it as a personal attack when Saucy said that? I didn't take it as a personal attack. I just think that get the fuck out of here. Saucy is saying that you sweet in the ass maybe because you smoke hookah. <laughs> I said Saucy said that Saucy didn't say that you asshole Joe said that Joe but Saucy But he did say that He did say that Yeah he said that He said that He 100% said that said He opened up with that He said if you are gay You a, should not be smoking hookah Unless you are a gay <laughs> A gay Am I going to get rewinded <laughs> like, like, we can't rewind know. it because people are listening to us. Right what now. I'm saying is, I, I, I was asking the room because I I thought I smoked hookah. I know you used to smoke. I used to. Mm-hmm. I so used I was to. trying to yeah, get the to room to see what what our opinion was. Did you give it up? For I've heard women reasons? say that though. No, I've heard women say it. Too. Girls said that yo smoking hookah look funny. I don't think so. That's like yeah. Word. Can we they get, will get a you sophisticated gay black man to speak on this, please? I'm gonna tell you something. I, I, like oh, a moon shit. or somebody you, oh, to speak on this. Why is he talking like that? He, he gave me tight. Gave why me is tight. his voice like, why is he, not his voice, why is he playing like that with the terminologies he's using? He's speaking like he doesn't have any sense. Is that how, we, that's who the gay people want to represent them? I'm going to take it a step further. I'm tired of gay people speaking on straight people, period. We can't speak about y'all. Don't speak about us. This is why they have a group if you really want, If you really want to go there, yo, stop talking about straight niggas. We don't care. There seems to be a lot of rules as to what you know, behaviors straight men can and can't have. Straight black men. <laughs> straight black men. Yes. Of I keep course. telling y'all, there is a thing. Like, <laughs> you want to tell a nigga to relax? <laughs> he looked at Fox to get out. I see you. I'm on your face. He want to tell Fox to rewind so bad. <laughs> he looked at Fox. And, and I'm letting it ride. <laughs> and I'm mad. letting it ride. You got mad at Fox without you gotta trust. Yeah, contact. you got to you gotta trust your cast. Yo, Joe, you got mad at Fox. So, sometimes, you're not going to have the ball with three seconds on the clock. <laughs> hey, yo, you still want your man to make the shot, so yo. I'm rolling. Yo, Park, the fact you didn't look at him and make eye contact, he rolled his eyes. <laughs> 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 he got mad. I, I, I saw me eye contact. So you missed it because he second. did make eye yeah, contact. Yeah, for a second. Park's always going to understand what my brain is saying. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> nah, I'm with you. I, 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 listen, no. we're going we're to respect I don't want to serious this out. I'm not. I'm okay, leaving that Which alone. is why I'm trying to shut up. I'm leaving that alone. But Let's leave it alone. Nah, fuck that. Oh, Cause this is my problem. Here we go. <laughs> it ain't that he said what he said. Because like he said, I've heard this before. This don't this don't shock me. And it's funny. It's funny. I ain't gonna lie. It's funny. I, I laughed That's why at I it. brought it up because it was funny. I laugh at it. It is. You niggas be having the little pink hookah tips. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't pick a manly. Nah, I pick a yeah, I like or it. Flavor, it's like lime or green. Or flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and then blowing it on the screen. Yeah, I, I get the chocolate the pineapple. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm going to take it a step. Some glow in the dark shit. I'm going to take it a step further, bro. Don't tell me you do the. Some of y'all do the new hookah that look like a lava past, lamp. Y'all are nasty. You do the blow tricks? No, no I don't do the blow tricks. Yeah. I did yes, he does. No, I, yes, he up. does. <laughs> you, so you, listen, he used to blow O's. Let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah. Can, I, can I talk? Sure. So this is years ago, right? Man, Before you could. I wanted to mix the flavors. Okay. All right. You know, usually you get blueberry mint. You put shit like two that. in your mouth? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, too. I didn't know. <laughs> nah. Hey, flip. I just wanted to. You know, I, hey, flip, flip, yeah. flip. Oh, oh yeah, nah. One time yo, we did say, "Yo, Joe, talk to your man." That means you was like this <laughs> and blowing. Yo. I mean, pause, man. Hey, yeah. Flip, it, it was a mistake. No, but like when you, it, isn't it actually? <laughs> <laughs> Microphone check, one, two, one, two. <laughs> if you buy the bar, we advise you right now, please make your way back to the stage. <laughs> Come on, there's room up to the front. We have to close those back doors. But ladies and gentlemen, the show is about, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Oh, man. I thought the headliner would cancel tonight, but uh, <laughs> they can't. They can't. <laughs> Seems like he's here. Tra- traffic opened up. Mr. Two Hookahs in his mouth. Yeah. Sucking yeah. on him. Oh. Hey, Wait, Cliff. more than two? Three Hookahs. Yeah. It was three Hookahs. 
Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Big Freeze. Oh, He's man. ice. Hey. <laughs> Do the freeze. Hey. Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, you want to go down? Disgusting. They got me. You my man, right? They got me. If I find a picture Saucy with Saucy was right. It's no, we have the picture. We kept the fouls. No, no, the fouls. <laughs> we kept the fouls. You'll see it. We kept the fouls. They, they bring it up every chance they get. They just fuck with me. You'll see it. You got three tips yeah. in your mouth? Yes, trying to Yo. wild out. <laughs> Listen, he played his fuck up too. From Linden. Three yeah. hookah tips in his mouth. He's trying to wild out. From Linden. I, was trying to, I didn't think so. Niggas from Yo. 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 No. Hey, hey Three I'm, hookah I'm sorry. tips in his mouth. <laughs> trying to wild, wild out. That's crazy. Hey, was, uh, let me guess. You was uh, blowing it in the, the big smoke. The yeah. big smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you was blowing the big smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I on, fucked up, so dog. Yo. Wow. So did you, did you taste the flavor change? Yo, pause. Hey. Wait, what? what? Oh, oh, I it. Yo, yo, I I it. Oh yo, my god! I don't want to sit in that jar. Pause. Turn him on this nigga. He choked. I pause. That's a lot of smoke. Pause. It's a lot. No, of, no, we don't need the drop. It's a lot of tips. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> God damn, Big Freeze. You know, Big you live and you learn. That's not a learning experience. That's a flagrant <laughs> foul. I, I don't want to live ejected? that long. Yeah, you ejected. Oh, God damn. <laughs> See, all right. Oh, man. My mind is doing those fucking two-voice thing again. <laughs> Give me a couple seconds <laughs> while I determine. <laughs> now get him. Which, get him. which voice to listen <laughs> to? <laughs> <laughs> which now, voice Joe was on it. Joe was about to say something, but then Joe was about to say something, but then Freeze came with the salaciousness. Numbers is up. Views is up. <laughs> Cass is doing great. <laughs> exactly. Morale is high. This is great. Just Feelings done, is yeah. good. Mute up, Why everybody. Why would you fuck it up? Everybody already accuses you of fucking things up when it's good. Don't have to be that guy. Get him. Get him. Yo, who's going to dress Saucy, though? Han Solo. Who's going to really let Saucy know? <laughs> this is my problem. <laughs> oh shit! And mind you, I don't smoke hookah today, so I really shouldn't even be the one. You should be the one at the stand, really talking to this nigga. It's not my platform. I'm a little sick of that line. From you. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm a little sick of that line from this. But listen, Saucy, this is the problem. My first line of defense when it comes to hookah is I can't begin to tell you about the illustrious nights that I have had with rounds. women in hookah that all started with hookah. A hookah. It did. And if I told you about it, one, you wouldn't believe me. Two, you wouldn't care because you might not be into the things that I'm into. But I can't shame men those years of my life. Mm -hmm. Bad ones. Uh -huh. It was a period where they wasn't going nowhere if it wasn't a hookah. They didn't have hookah. You didn't have hookah. They're not going. going. They're not going. True. But you didn't transfer the hookah my, smoke to the girl's mouth, did you? Did you do all huh? that? Those you shakas? I'm sure they did it to me before. I that, got, at that point, I was having girls shotgun everything in my mouth. <laughs> you just shitting hey, me. Yo. What? You was snowballing? <laughs> you was snowballing too? I don't know what that is. You was snowballing. I, I swear I'll I punch don't know you right in your face on camera. I don't I'll know knock your eyes. Can somebody tell somebody me what it is? Somebody was snowballing. Demonstrate. Uh, no. I'm not going to play, You into that, Mel. You Sorry. told me you into that. Do you know what that is? What? Yes. Snowball is when... Uh, when you finish what's white? What's white? When you ejaculate in the woman's mouth and she puts the ejaculation back in your mouth to come in your mouth. <laughs> I've never done that. Okay. <laughs> How did you get from that to that? Well, he said it's a fucking shotgun with smoke. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's it's a different shotgun. It's, it's a, a different shotgun. Oh, that is not a shotgun. That is that not is a fucking shotgun. Shotgun. That's that nuts. is crazy. You, that is. You need to go <laughs> to Horizon <laughs> Health <laughs> Clinic. Listen, <laughs> yeah. yeah. as a hetero but female, I co-sign. I co-sign the shotgun. Okay. I co-sign the shotgun. Wait, you. I'm not gonna ask you that, but <laughs> no, you can't. I'm not. Not, not, the I'm not, not, not I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. not the I'm not no, she meant the hookah. Regular, the hookah shotgun. The hookah shotgun. God, you sure, Mel? You okay? I co-signed co that. Co oh yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. I co-signed. Dog, are you shitting me? Yeah, nigga. It's it's, it's definitely a gateway. I'm, 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 I don't play with anything with shots. I'm yeah. with that. Huh? Girls would not go to places if they can't get a hookah. That's Facts. a fact. And, and you look like a dodo if you letting them smoke the hookah dolo. And then they came up with the stupid candy tips. You saw that? 
You know, I remember I, when I brought what's the name of Melody? I used to bring up <laughs> Melody's boy. I used to bring up the Melody dog. <laughs> it's right there. You ain't got to jump. One, and one, bro. You don't even have to jump. Bruh, and one. But two, Saucy, two on the list is you're not talking to straight men. You're talking to straight black men. Talk and that's it. the beef. Mm-hmm. And that's that the beef. Is, that is. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. It, it. The relationship between the gay community, again, and the straight black men. Talk about we it. We need reparations between us. We do. Because you certainly are not saying that to the men, Latin men. Mm-hmm. And no. you're not certainly not saying it to Middle Eastern men. Mm-hmm. No, no. That's true. So who could you be saying that to but straight black men? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's where my issue lies. Brother Joe is Again. preaching today. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Once you as, notice it, you can't unnotice it. I, just at all. And that's what I've been trying that's to point out. That's the problem. That's the problem. It like it's 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 funny, jokey joke shit. But there's a whole list running around on Twitter of things that straight black men can't talk do. about it. Mm-hmm. And it's simple shit. Like yo, if you're a straight man. Why do you have an umbrella? He don't huh? use umbrellas. That's on the list. <laughs> I don't really use umbrellas either, but. You, don't, you never use all, but you use one. No, I, I will. I will use I mean, one. It's pouring but down, but I'll be. I like the rain. Yeah, I don't really use umbrellas. Stop <laughs> trying to shame. And my man. driver. I, I'm, not to, I'm, I'm not trying to straight. Sl- I'm not trying to straight slam you. Okay, right. so if it's raining, so gonna run out with the umbrella for my guest. He does do that. Yes, he does. What's that, what else is on the list? Because uh, I'm always really interested to hear what is considered to be emasculating. As oh, a, as all a, of this shit is emasculating. I, I need, give, like, give me some more examples. You can't carry a wallet. What the you, fuck? You what, what are you supposed to do? You can't. You can't go to brunch. Why are you at brunch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to brunch. I feel one of these. Well, I, I, you feel I'm kind of agreeing with the list so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of there. When you get in your fifties, they tell you that all the years of putting a wallet in it's your back, back, back pocket fucks your back up. Mm-hmm. I put my wallet in my side pocket. Exactly. Who puts it in good, the back? Good, I put it in the back. Well, most men do. You put it in the front. I put it in the, yeah, that says yeah. a lot about you. How you pee? <laughs> <laughs> but like standing tall. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you doing squat? <laughs> oh, oh, what? You hover? Uh, you know what? Yo, I said you doing the squat pee. Man, yo. Man, what's up with you? Man, I'm just saying I don't see how. And you brunch. We only had brunch because the girls was at brunch. That's true. Like yeah, we, 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 we wanted to eat at home. I'm we not drinking it. That's how y'all lose your wallets and get raw. Yeah, that back pocket shit. I've never heard a group of guys saying. Hey, we're going to brunch Facts. without do without women being yeah. present. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going nowhere without women being present. We're not doing yeah. that. We're not going nowhere if there's no women there. Yeah. Okay, so you know what the guys say? Yeah, wait. Where, where, where they at? That is true. That's wait, the wait, question. Wait, wait. That's when's it. The, we are, where, when's where the last time anybody been to brunch? I, I've never been to a brunch. It's been a while, and that was I, it was a what? birthday or something. I had to go to last Sunday. <laughs> you, what, you want me to? Uh, let me. I've never been to brunch. That's when they start the French fries. Let me see. I need to expand my horizons, right? Expand my mind to go to a damn brunch. You look at can't curse. A brunch? You wait till hour five <laughs> to, say, to, say, to say that. Come on, talk to your man. I don't have to go to a brunch. He's Who? judging me. I didn't say a thing you to no you, socks. Rocky. I do have on socks. No, you don't. You have on Skechers. I do. One Stop. piece Skechers. Wait, are those Skechers? Look at your big, bulky-ass, <laughs> dumb-ass shoes. Wait, out of here. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Your yeah, advance wasn't uh, enough, Mike. Wait a second. All right, Damn now you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting, that's, that's bad for the uh, network. Come on. I thought I put. I thought I asked all of you not to discuss funds with each other. <laughs> yo, people are listening to this. Yeah, he's trying to sell yo, himself. Yo, yo, no, people are listening to this. He's shouting out all the anime characters. I think. I understand that, but the sophisticated people are listening. Stop playing with me, man. One piece. What you talking about? Them three piece sketches. Oh, you, call, you got no socks. You just got BBSs. I'm laughing. I'm going to get you too. I've been there. You slide. Yeah. Chill. So let me give you some more off the list. <laughs> yeah, let's do some more off the list. What did I fucking do? Men shouldn't need more than one pillow to sleep. I'm, oh, I'm, fuck you. <laughs> I got four. Fuck, don't walk in my room. I use four. I got 19. <laughs> <laughs> I use one pillow. I'm kind of, I'm still, I'm still rolling. Whoa, 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 whoa. I may only use one too, but there's 19 of them on that bed. <laughs> I see oh, oh okay. that's different. Matter of fact, real men sleep on the floor because real men don't get comfortable. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, no, that's the rest. No, that's, the, rest, no, that's, the, rest, say, that's they, the type of shit that they say. This is on the list. My yeah, man, shout out to my man, Chef Waits. He, sit, he keeps a list every time they start the bullshit some more or something to the list. Okay. So okay. he sent me, it's like six pages of shit on here. I'm just jumping around. This shit is exhausting. Go on. Why, how do you call yourself a grown straight man and you eat scrambled eggs. No, I don't up, eat man. scrambled eggs. 
I don't prefer scrambled eggs, but I'll eat them. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this is what's, oh, right. what's the manly way of eating eggs? Fried. fried. Boiled, fried. Some bullshit. Fried. Boiled. Okay. Boiled? Hey, <laughs> yo. He's <laughs> a nerd. <laughs> Hello, like hey, if you're getting a drink, come, come to the front of the stage, please. The show's about to start. We got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> I'll have a nice hard boiled egg, please. Yup. Yo, he's so, yo, he's so I white. I eat scrambled yo. eggs. <laughs> We know you do. Uh, I know. <laughs> I eat scrambled eggs too. Fuck me too, my nigga. Nobody eats scrambled eggs, bro. A little cheese. Eggs, yeah, bro. A little cheese no, no, yeah. No grown man eats scrambled eggs. Oh, I must be a kid. We, we all kids then. Weird. Who eats scrambled eggs? Me. One, two, three. Everybody. I will. Every nigga everybody. here beside you. Everybody eats scrambled you eggs, yo. All right. Yeah, get to know your son, nigga. That's your son. No, that's why no. he not eating them. Oh. He following your dumbass lead. Yeah. <laughs> I eat fried eggs. All right. Yeah. Okay. Or Omaha, not. Then got learning from his friends. <laughs> not learning from his. Oh. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> you right, went against the conjugal rule. No, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Off. Don't violate yeah. me. Yeah, please, no. God, please stay. Please stay. Please, please don't leave. You and your fool G socks. Nah, Yo, if you leave, I'm ending this. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I got, I got to work on <laughs> You put the red car Nobody can believe me What else Ice? Oh should I close it Nigga we done Yeah but it's just It's just funny like Look what you trying to highlight On Black History Month <laughs> Yeah <laughs> What else Ice? Yeah, okay. yeah, chill out It's not a safe space for uh, That I'm not shit is like exhausting no Like is. the, the things To be a black man right? To be a black to, yeah, to, The you. things you got to think about In terms of like You know holding on To the perception of like What masculinity actually That fucking That is exhausting Well masculinity is toxic now Talk sister Mel Hold on <laughs> To your left <laughs> Masculinity is toxic Today I, But it's say. not Yes it's it is to- Masculinity is not toxic Talk sister Mel it's Preach. Yeah. America's toxic. I don't understand. America's what, fucking what, toxic. What's the problem with toxicity? No, I love masculinity. I am the sewer where toxic shit flows. I keep telling you. <laughs> Bring it on. We accept toxic. No, they are saying that though. They, yeah. Like that masculinity in itself is now starting to be a bad thing. That's true. That's true. That's true. I said masculine. And it's wrong though. That's wrong. I'm, I'm because agreeing. there's some people out there that really believes in being masculine and are proud of being masculine. You know what I'm saying? And to change it, because a lot of times we have to adjust to society, is a slap in the face. No, that's respect. <laughs> that's respect. Why are you laughing like that? Because that's respect. I never looked at it that way. Yo. <laughs> why you, see, this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. Wait, stop. No, no, no. You get your teeth clean. Wait, stop. You come in here with new pants. You look pink, good. Pink and you, start, <laughs> you look fire. You're going crazy. But you start talking crazy. No, you went crazy a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> on a vibe cover, cover of Vibe magazine, you feeling yourself today. You look chill. Thank you, man. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. See, black men don't even know how to just compliment. <laughs> thank, thank you. See, is that on the list? Black men can't, oh, you can't compliment each other? You can't compliment each other? No, you, you can't do that. You crazy? Are you not allowed, you not allowed to compliment each other? No. Oh, no. It's, I, I thought it's... Without the socks, I thought this joint was fly today. I, I said, look at my man. Okay, so if that's a straight black thing, Parks. Yeah. Can you do that with your... With, with the white friends? Yeah. <laughs> with the white. Do we compliment each other? No, we don't compliment each other. No, never. That might just be a man thing. Yeah, it's a man thing. Oh. That's fucked up. Parks, you got yeah. white friends? Couple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Parks. <laughs> yeah, you do, because you came in here today like, a hey, couple. what's up? Yeah. Oh, man. A couple. CB does, came in I here on CB time. Mm-hmm. What does everyone here think about uh, Adidas reportedly redoing business with Kanye? I'm I feel saying, good about I'm it. I'm saying reportedly because yeah, don't. I don't know. Supposedly they signed a new deal um, to release all of the inventory that they currently have. This is this is what the report says. No new Yeezy branded designs, only selling current Yeezy branded products that Adidas cannot sell without Ye. No update on future after these are sold. And Pirate Blacks will be one of the first releases. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. they know what they doing. They know what they doing. Cool. I ain't gonna hold they you. got them. And the he pirate got blacks. Them. The pirate blacks. He, yeah, he got them. <laughs> yeah, True. it's wealth because wealth posted it. Is wealth a, a double entendre? A good source. Pirate black. Oh, I don't know. Pirate oh, black. Y'all, y'all good. Y'all, y'all good, good, boy. Y'all, y'all, y'all good. you a rapper? It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Is so fucking. Please disgusting. tell us what you think, Joe. Well, we all know no, who I'm started to y'all Adidas. So and laughing. I'm loving it. Oh, oh. what you mean? What do you mean who started Adidas? German engineer. Adidas. You going there, you trying to, on Black History Month, you holler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they're going to... Chill out. Come on, you wild. Don't yeah. talk about no German stuff, I'm hand, just bro. saying. I, I mean, 
we I, I don't know if this is true or not, so I don't really know no, but a lot of if there's anything for me to say about it. If it's true, I would be disappointed in him. Yes. Why, Why? Joe? Uh, I get it. Well, let me I get it. it. Because when you take a hard stance, you got to kind of stand in that. So I think that um, if Adidas losing hundreds of millions of dollars as they claim that they are, you know, they come crawling as back. a result of um, them cutting off business with you, mm-hmm. you, make them, you make them eat that. But that's what you said. They cut it off. One second, one second, one second. They ain't the only ones losing. That's true. Hundreds of millions of dollars. But, yeah, but, hold on, but, but they, that's the thing. As 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 yeah, Joe, Joe says often, you gotta tighten your belt. You, but you, hold the, on, you, but, the, you the superhero. But you, they're you, the you, one that cut it off. You the superhero. And they're they're said and done. That's the point. So now you're not gonna crawl it's back. Not, to, let me let me yeah. talk. You're not gonna crawl back to me when you are losing millions of dollars and you're hemorrhaging money, and now you wanna play nice in the sandbox because you need me to sign off on you selling your product. That's isn't when that you the have point? The isn't advi- that the point in you which the, you would crawl back? Exactly. You yes. got the biggest and advantage. Now, and now I'm gonna tell you kick rocks. Sink. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna leverage that and get, get leverage exactly it. what I need to get out of you. Wouldn't you be happy that he leveraged that? They all cut ties with him because it's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Correct. Right, correct. Anti-Semitic sense. Statement. Exactly. Wouldn't you be proud of him to, <clears throat> like, they all distance themselves and now they're coming now back. Now you got to come back to, to me. And we, that, people were laughing yeah, at him. Yeah. People and, distance themselves from him. Look at Kanye, he looked crazy. Now look at what's happening. No, unless, they unless, going back. unless it was a deal that was just some other shit, nigga, sink. Yeah. You know, fuck you. If I'm sick. not the new if you're not owner giving of Adidas, me, if you're not giving me five percent of, of or Adidas or some shit like that, yeah, give me some equity or something. Everything that comes in yes. on these sneakers fuck that already exist sink. that y'all couldn't sell. I like all the reports of yo, we losing this amount of money. We telling our investors it's going to mm-hmm. be a stretch. I like all that mm-hmm. if I'm Kanye. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So yeah. I would want them to sink knowing I'm Kanye, mm-hmm. right? Like if I'm really looking at it. Rihanna just did the Kanye Super Bowl. Correct. Everybody in, in in pop culture is wearing big red boots that some people say are Kanye inspired. Even running around wearing them dumbass big boots for, uh, I'm aware of forever. Con- <laughs> Kanye is the superhero, whether we like it or not. True, correct. Like I keep saying, so now, go be the superhero. Look, let that let that company fail. Stand in your word. Go get your factories. Go get your all that shit you said you was going to get. Go we get it and do said it. That but, that that also, but look, what we said huh? it before. What if that's it, part of the deal? Part of him coming back is oh, they give him I, some. Did now, I say, shit. That's now, what now, I just now, said. Yo, we sat in here before. Right. Right. We sat in here before and said, "Yo, what do you do when Adidas? What do you do when Adidas come back knocking?" And we agree, it's stick up time. Yeah. So if he stuck him the fuck up and got exactly what he needed, I said that. I said unless they gave him equity or some shit like, give me four percent of Adidas. Worldwide revenues. Give me some shit like that. If they not doing that and we just doing the same splits that we did before, I doubt. Get it the fuck. Out. I, I, I doubt hope it's not the same splits. If it's the same splits as before, I'm with y'all. And I would like to see. I'm 100 percent with y'all. Someone, some publicly someone apologized from, the, from Adidas. Oh, I was going further than that. I want to see someone from the Jewish community in an outrage over Adidas behavior and handle mm. them. I want to see them get handled. Mm. Handle. You absolutely y'all right. Are, y'all are powerful. Because mm. it's disappointing for someone for someone like me. That's a good one. That right? Good like one. Kanye is powerful enough and rich and wealthy enough and influential enough to go and say all that shit that he said and still have this big ass company eat their words and crawl back on their feet. That will not be the case for the rest of us. True. He is an anomaly in that regard. But I want them still to go say something to Adidas. As a, yeah. The same way, that, feel that, that, way yeah. that we wanted people to go say something to Amazon about publishing the fucking book that Kyrie just mm-hmm. simply tweeted. I'm yep. looking for consistency. Yeah. It ain't that. And that's, that's and a that's problem. My, and that's, my is, that's a problem. That's my it take. Is you can't that. pick and choose. That's it true. is not consistent across the board. That's but I would love no for Kanye to have gotten his his big big deal. Mm-hmm. Crack him. Yeah. And if he didn't crack him, I'd tell him. I couldn't see him not. Uh, yeah. Tell him niggas too. I mean, the reports rock. are not saying anything about um, what his. Uh, see, I don't think he cracked them because. Because he's been cosplaying for years and he really wants white skin. That's why I don't think he cracked them. And <laughs> not just that, I think that if he cracked them, you wouldn't specifically, because everything I've read said that business post selling off their current inventory is not being done. So if you crack them, you'll be like, yeah, we picking up, we we moving along, da 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 da. That could uh, unless be, unless that's a a, a, a conversation to be had later, contingent upon how this yes, product course. moves. That's but that but that could be part of the deal though for them to seem like they still have the original um, deal inventory. Yeah, oh. no original. He he could have agreed to like 
in order for us to go back in business with you, we're willing to take this or make this, but you have to make us look like this. You know what I'm saying? There's deals like that. Then you still lost. No. You still lost. They embarrassed you publicly on a worldwide did scale. Did they really embarrass him? If he got you 4% percent, fucking right. If he got 4% equity, did he lose? They didn't embarrass him. Did he lose? Ice. It, I'm asking you. If he got the 4% equity, but they still can... Or hooked him up with some plants or whatever. Yeah, talk to, about to, it. Yeah, some of that type of shit. Shit that we say and we want him to get. Let's, if he got that, but they but still get to move on. Pu- yeah, public yeah. perception. You're saying he lost. Yes. Okay. That's crazy. Because when... Dog, sometimes when you build in your brand, your name and your reputation are worth more than the financial gain sometimes. Closing arguments from you gentlemen. We don't know if any we don't of know. this stuff is true. Yeah, yeah, true. true. More true. will be revealed, and I'm sure we will have to continue to report on it. And yeah. uh, and if anybody got the release date on the Pirate Blacks, let me know. <laughs> Hit me up ASAP. New slaves. Huh? Uh, part of the show. Let's go. What is this gentleman's name here? Let me see. D. What up, D? All right. D. Hey, D. What's that? Name? D has a 312 area code. I don't know where that is. Oh, Chicago. He's, about, he's about to tell me. Chicago. D says, oh, boy, do I have a story for you. Oh, you so yeah. picture this. Yeah. Let's go. I'm a married man with a wife who's always dripping wet. He Just knows. like that little Wayne lyric. You know the one. Pussy so wet, so I swam to her butt. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> But don't get it twisted. We don't do butt play. Anyway. Wouldn't knock you if you did, buddy. Yeah, I don't care. We don't kink shame here at the JBP. Uh, well, not publicly. Anyway, I decided to spice things up a bit and introduced a cock ring into the mix. Funny you should say that, uh, D. You just reminded me about a cock ring story I have. Uh, that sounded wild. <laughs> I'm looking at you, I'm like, that sounded wild. Go ahead. I'll tell you later. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) C-O-E She used to smoke weed To help calm her nerves Wait Oh no no I skipped a sentence Here we go Um, uh, I decided to spice things up a bit And introduce the cock ring Into the mix Let me tell you My already impressive size Is now out of this world My wife loves it so much She is constantly feeling me up To make sure the ring Is still in place But here's the thing. My wife has extreme anxiety and it's been affecting our relationship. This is when uh, the sad music comes on Dateline. When the cock ring stops working. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. Fucking idiot. She used to smoke weed to help calm her nerves, but it made her super dry down there, even with the cock ring. Would you believe it? (laughs) Now, I'm torn between having mind-blowing sex or having a peaceful household. You see, when my wife is less anxious, she's an absolute joy to be around. Mm. So what do I do? Should I sacrifice our sex life for the sake of our relationship? Help a brother out. Pick days. I have a couple of questions. I I think you pick days. Don't smoke weed today. It's cock ring time. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> smoke weed every day. Except today. Not a cock ring day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's up, Mel? Okay, so, all right. I, I, I answered one of my questions in my head because I was wondering, I was like, is he a talking about like a Prince Albert? Like the, no. The, the, okay. No, it's a band that goes around your shit. No, I absolutely know that. And they're fun. Okay. Um, what the fuck is it? Never mind. You've never used a cock ring before? They vibrate? They're fucking awesome. I've used a vibrating one before. Of course you have. I'm starting to really understand you, Parks, and I kind of like it. Um, okay, um, so... Wait, <laughs> wait. Yo, get the lady. I saw, oh, get wait, the lady, what? Yeah. Just get the lady. And don't talk to uh, Parks like that. Yeah. 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 Don't say that while it's just sitting there, don't, for real. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what he was talking about last episode, you see? What? I kind of like it. Give, give, yeah, give oh, yeah. some compliments. <laughs> <laughs> audience it don't be us well sometimes okay. anyway. anyway so in my experiences mm. weed made sex even better so I'm interested like I don't I don't, I don't think that her vag dryness and weed there's a connection between the two I think that there's something else going on but if be. he wants to solve that problem but, yeah. but if you want to solve that problem, there are ovules that you can get. They're like these lubrication ovules that she can just stick up there 30 minutes before, and then she'll just be like... D, you hear her? 
There you go, D. Look, I'm, I'm, sol- I'm solving all the problems. She yeah. doesn't have to stop smoking weed, get rid of the vaginal dryness, keep the cock ring on, boom. Hey, I'm going I'm to do you're you wel- better. You're welcome. Mm? Eat it. Or there's that too. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. He did not mention that. Facts. He did not mention that. Eat it. Yeah. But that'll, that'll fix that. I can't try it. <laughs> but eat, 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 it, eat it well enough. It'll fix that part. But well, hold on one second. You Just had, you eat had, it. You sucks, had a, sucks when you got to eat the grumpy chick. <laughs> <laughs> you had a cock ring story. <clears throat> Damn. We're waiting with bated breath over here. No, no, we no. weren't. And what's bated mean? We were. <laughs> it means we're waiting. Fuck out of here. Come on. <laughs> cock ring Not story. really a cock ring story, right? Oh, but the wow. other day. The other day. <laughs> Yo, come on. Yo. <laughs> Where you wanted the story to start at? I got it, man. <laughs> no, the other day, my girl goes in the drawer, and it like it's a cock ring sitting there, but like in the package. <laughs> so she look at me, because we ain't never used no cock ring. And she's like, nigga, <laughs> why you got a cock ring? <laughs> oh, she was believing the little joke she was making before? No, she's just saying, what is this? Where did it come from? And we ain't never used it. And if you got one, why we ain't never use it? And I said, well, that's a cock ring. Uh, I don't know where it came from. I said, oh, I think it was from the hotel. One of them hotels, I think they give you like a grab bag when you leave with like toys hotel. in it. What hotel And it had like a this? bullet vibrator. Sex. I need to know that. And it had a cock ring in it. And I think I saved the cock ring wanting to use it because I've never used one. You're too rich to be going to them type of hotel. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a expensive, it could be an expensive hotel. I want to say it was the Satana. Fancy. That gave you that bag? One hundred percent. They, I think they, lying. they have it in every two and three bedroom suite by the alcohol. That does not surprise me. It surprises me. Not at all. Mm-mm. But keep going. So if it was the loop, I'd understood. Yeah, because because for a higher end but hotel, but the loop wouldn't do that. It would before the satire. I would think. Nah, so. they would have it in a vending machine. Cock and rings <laughs> and and, and, and bullet vibrators in every room. That shit ain't cheap. No, it's not. And to keep refilling. It's not about that. It's about the clientele. So if mom, let's say somebody that's yeah. religious, the loop should went yeah. and stayed there. They would be offended by that. Everybody don't have the same things, and everybody don't have the same fetishes. Well, you also don't have to touch the alcohol, uh, the the Snickers, the yeah, M and M's. That's, that's not a sexual toy, bro. You're not comparing the the the, the nip of uh, vodka with the with the cock ring or the bullet. I really like that being there. I actually you, I was you say, do. I, really I kind of want to know what hotel that is for next, I next I time I travel. That's my point. No, no, I get your point. That's cool, and I agree with your point. Like like he's saying. An, an, an affluent family who stayed there might not want to that might that be offensive it's in a to bag them. it might be offensive to them to even have it in the space Absolutely. in a bag yes to some people they would find but that to, offensive but to your point about the loop and knowing your clientele there you go that, that family probably shouldn't be at the Satai but mm-hmm. the Satai is a higher end establishment that ain't necessarily but made not, for the sexual clientele but it's no it's not marketed to f- as family friendly yeah, that shit is fucking it ritzy not, as but, shit, yeah. and that is you're going there, you are impressing somebody. They know somebody. Who the fuck is going the up Satai in there. is the exact place that okay. you it's, want. It's See, us. I don't know. That's, that's, that's above my like pay So I don't. Now that I hear, I mean, that, I don't know, I know if it, it is. That, that's it. I it sounds like the high end escort hotel. I don't know if it is. I disagree. <laughs> above your pay grade. Yo, stop. You stop. <laughs> stop. All right. Stop. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm going to tell my mom. You and Miss Faye, stop. I'm going to tell my mom. Miss Faye, <laughs> stop. Anyway, do we have help for him and do we have help for me? I Should I try help. to open the cock ring and use it? According uh, to him, that shit is kind of fly. A thousand percent. I, I just I've never it. used yes. it. I heard it's dope, though. Niggas told me that they, yeah, they take it for use spin. it. I'm going to buy one. Like a lot of old I'll head niggas. I put that shit on. Don't a lot play. of old head niggas that start going through the ED problems, they use them. And they said the shit is banging. That's interesting that they would say something like that. Yeah. Because you have to remain erect for the cock ring to stay on. No, that's not true. Yeah, uh, you, huh? uh, He's telling this to a person who's actually not a used man, a cock no. ring. You, you, How can you, a cock ring stay on if you're not hard? So what happens is you build up whatever you got to build up. Thank yeah. you. Wait, thank, tell, wait, thank you, Paul. Tell me I can't hear what Paul doesn't have on shit. You build up your erection, which means your blood, your dick is full of blood. When you get yes. erect, it's blood rushing to your it's dick. It's like when you slide the chair. You, you put the cock ring on and it holds the blood and holds your erection. It don't Almost like putting dick. like an elastic yeah. band yes. at the base. Yes. Yeah. Got it. So a lot of older people start to experiment with them because they start to go through ED and they they start using them. And then like Mel said, they got some that got lights. They got some that vibrate. Why does it sound like somebody's saying show me over here? 
<laughs> Somebody on the balcony. Tell me, baby. What you want? <laughs> Tell me what you need. Rubbing your head. Yeah, yeah, yo, stop, stop, yo, stop, stop all this stop girly shit. Yeah. Stop all this girl playing with your head. Knock it off. Sit and stop here. that. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Yeah, the fuck. Don't Sorry. do that shit the girls be doing. Look, <laughs> girls, <laughs> girls. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's girls, yo. Anyway. Okay. Uh, and today, like oh, I said, yo, yeah. let, let her take the anxiety, uh, smoke, and just eat it. There's Actually, a trade-off. What, but what if she dry out? I'm not trying to be funny either. I'm, I'm just asking, like, he might have tried that, and she might just start getting dry based on the weed. Lube. That shit is trash. It is, but... It is very trash. That shit is pinch, basura. What? It'll work in a pinch. In a pinch. I see see what you did. I see what you did. Y'all good. I see what you did. (laughs) Like, that shit is trash. Lube. He sounds like he's got first world problems. Man, I'm going to go ahead and deal with the agginess for the box. I don't know. How aggy we talking? Do three days a week. No weed on Thursdays or whatever, man. Not two days. Say that shit now. How aggy are we talking? Y'all need to go get some cock rings and then come oh, in no, here gonna, next week I'm and talk about your experiences. I'm going to go get one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I won't do the second part, but I'll go get one. <laughs> I'll talk about it if it's fire. I don't like that shit. It ain't happening. I so ain't high. Do it. Oh, yeah. my God. Hey, yo, listen. Good show today, fellas. I'm proud of everyone. And lady. And la- oh, I'm almost done. Thank you. you. Right? Uh-huh. The queen. Good show. Salute. We Thank appreciate you. I'm just proud of everyone. Okay. Last week, it was hard. Pause. Last week was hard, you said? It was extremely rough. No, this week. That was this week, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It just feel like yeah, something. It felt- <laughs> when, it's, when it's like that. Come on, tell, tell me how you feel. Break the fifth wall there. It felt like Break the fifth wall there. I, I could. What do you think about that one? I feel like, it's you know, mess, right? Joe wasn't too happy and then he checked some shit and now look. But just so nigga. we're clear, you're a hater. When stop humming while we're talking about, about our, our progression. You mean as he plays the song? He just likes the song, that's all. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my God, yo! <laughs> yo, keep us in yo, your prayers. Lord you knows day, we need to be there. You can't. You, I can tell you. Great can't show even today. Fight, Until yo. the next time, <laughs> I bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, Ariva Derchi, hasta la vista. So the, long, goodbye, I'm au revoir. Put you on the fancy um coffee thank, table. Thank you. Life is a series of moments. <laughs> can I shout my anime crew? I believe. Oh my. You shout you out all of them. This is the no, shout out to everybody. Oh all the One Piece people. Don't play nothing. Don't play nothing. Shout out to everybody. Flip the Joe Button Network too. Then go ahead. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the soundtrack? Anime. This is so great. I gotta let it play a little bit. He's such a clout chaser. You I might know it. He go read. He go read yeah, comments and then just come clout chase. Hold on. <laughs> let it play. I'm dying to end my show, yo. <laughs> On Black yes! History Month. <laughs> Shout out to everybody out here that watch anime. Yo, All the Reddit people. Grab Queen Flip. Please. We, we, uh, we, we, we rock with y'all. Look, got the shoe right Thank here. You. One piece. Huh? Thank they you. can't stop us. We <laughs> undefeated. Uh, undefeated. Every, every episode, he finds a new way to almost get fired. I said, hey, yo, I said, Sophisticated audio audience members. My apologies. <laughs> my, I'm sorry that you have to deal with some of this. And like this. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time. What's up? Yo, whatever y'all, I'm trying to end this. Shut up. Please, thank you. <laughs> uh, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, <laughs> goodbye, hasta la vista. Do remember that life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make each one last as if it's all that we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women. Man. <laughs> I'm about to body shame, yo. I ain't going to... You're not skinny enough to be right here in this spot. Is all I'm saying, yo. But what? <laughs> you know what you remind me of? When I used to leave my house too long and my dog would miss me. My dog would like... <laughs> yo, when you go in the you house and you, dog your dog... <laughs> yo. This nigga is crazy. You got Harlem Brooklyn. He's like a fucking... Got Queens. <laughs> he's, he's like cocaine oh, French bulldog. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go get in the show. Yeah, no, you definitely. Oh my god! Yeah, you cocaine French bulldog. Oh man! (laughs) The stagnant, stagnant women want to travel. 
Ooh, go ahead, man. I just, you look, know, that's where you... Look at you hating on them bitches again. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shit she highlighted. We got her. We got her. Again. Y'all hold it down, uh... <laughs> the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab you a Tylenol, you just might need it. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Remember, Little Spoon vibes, Little Spoon vibes. Protect go. <laughs> hey. I mean, we vibed out today. This was good. <laughs> hey, you niggas out there, if you know your dad, go ask him if, dad, if he could play an instrument. <laughs> Your dad had to go up against these niggas. <laughs> it was your dad versus the stylistics. Lord, that's tough. <laughs> the dramatics, one, the four tops. One, one no all cocaine money. The then, temptations. Nigga. Your game yeah, had to yeah, get yeah. you some hoes. <laughs> uh, no singing niggas come through. Oh, man. For you light-skinned niggas out there, your dad had to go up against Hall and Oates. <laughs> <laughs> Michael McDonald and them. <laughs> Y'all hold it down. Happy Black History Month. We'll be back same time, same place. <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Man, what you doing this weekend? Anything fun? Back to the gun range with Duke? <laughs> Have you well, spoken to him? So, is no, it, and did he make it to third base? <laughs> did he make I'm it going to, to see hump? cocaine bears with you. <laughs> That's the plan. My girl gonna fight us. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Fli I'm gonna flip you. I'm gonna throw you off the balcony. <laughs> see, he would do something different by standing up and dancing slowly. You've never heard of Joe Budden? JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? No Joe Budden. <laughs>